<laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me mute my microphone. Harris, Trusty Belcher, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, where are we sitting? Hit that like button now. Hit that like button. Now, hurry up. Hurry. You yes, sir. Tr trust these thieves. Good night. Shout out to Minneapolis. Hey, say what's up to your boy, bro. Russ, Mary. I think I saw Kendra, Janice, Clee, Rhonda, Bob. What a Rob, Karis, Aunt One Way. Reality TV Chicago in the building. What up, what up? No pictures, please. Come back. Yeah, I'm interviewing Weedemann. Unless you change. I'm doing that. Uh, there were not metal detectors. No metal detectors. LNC exclusive. Get this link out. Sh biggest shout out in the world to Trustee Steve. Make sure y'all follow Dustin uh, Dalton Tru Dalton Trustee's YouTube page. I'm tongue tied. I'm already she rubbing off on me already. Shout out to Hannibal. Hannibal is hungry. Make sure y'all follow. I appreciate all the love, y'all. What's up, football? Shout out to football. Shout out to my wife. Shay Jr., what up? Bert Olson, shout out to Olson. First order of business. Let's uh, terminate the contract of Bert Olson. <laughs> That's this is the nigga they always want to fire. Yeah, let, yeah. Let's terminate his contract, nigga. Meeting doesn't start till six thirty. Shout out to Bert Olson in the building. First order of business. We firing this nigga. That's the nigga. That's the one every time. First order of business, let's fire him. <laughs> so wild shit, bro. Okay. The the love shown to me in Dalton, I cannot believe it's unreal. Shout out to Miss Mary, bro. Shout out to Trina, bro. Shout out to Tracy, bro. The love unreal. I do not see Dan Platt over here. I do see Regina Waldrop. Why would I need to go to the podium when I'm standing right next to you? See what I'm saying? I don't need to go to it. Shout out to everybody in the room.
Look at her, bro. Look at her, bro. Look at her, bro. Oh, my Lord. She gave me one. I won today. I won today. I got a Kiana walk in front of the camera. I won today, bro. I won today. Come on, man. Shay said he was coming to get the exclusive that I let you down. Front row business. This is front row business. Shout out to Trustee Steve. Trustee Steve made sure I was right here, bro. In front of mainstream, fool. Love you too, Janice. Uh, you know I couldn't be here without all my day ones, bro. Boston, what up, kid? What up, Tommy? We, we in here, dude. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. Nigga, wait a minute, bro. All of these girls, bro, they look better in person. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. They all look better in person. I already met Miss Stubbs. Miss Stubbs trying to get me to come to the house, allegedly. I might go through, but I know motherfuckers like to shoot over there, though. Hit the like button now. We are currently demonetized, but you see what we did anyway. So hit the links in the description for unrivaled coverage. Do the unrivaled research. And we here in Dalton because I got a motherfucking unrivaled squad. That's how we do it. Trusty House, I'm calling you that here. Great to see you. stand right here. Is that alright with you? <laughs> not going to be in the camera shot, right? Not in my camera shot. That's what I'm trying to avoid. But I am live in the air. Are oh, you fine? It's, it's a very casual live, so it's not even that deep. How are you? Just to know not where to go or, you know, what's comfortable for you guys. Um, what's, what's her buffer? Sure. Her buffer's my buffer, so don't get too close. You got How's it. that, all right? Understood. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. All right, no problem. Thanks for asking. <coughs> uh, who you are? I'm a security. Okay. I, wait, am I on here? I don't want to... I'm live on here. I air. know. Uh, for the park district. Huh? You said park district? Hit more, y'all gotta hit more. What's on? What is this? What are we at? 792? Up to 800. Yes, that was Mirror Lightfoot that just walked past. Mirror Lightfoot is in the building. Hit that like button, bro.
fifth he wanted to. Clerk Key in the building. Clerk Key is in the building. That will be Kirk Clerk Key. Shout out. <laughs> Hit that like button, man. We got a thousand people in here and only 358 on the lights. Hit that like button. <laughs> Shout out to the whole late night crew. What up, Della? I see you. Miss Bradshaw, Danny, Pills, Jackie, Two Queen, Peggy, Lynn, Jazzy, Professor, Kiki, Harrison, Soul Man, Clee, KS Doug. We are. Where is it? Okay. I'm gonna definitely go introduce I'm gonna introduce myself after. Long Island is in the building. Shout out to Long Island Audits in the building. Shout out to Long Island Audits in the building. Don't worry about who that was. But trust y'all know. <laughs> Right on Swamp Talk. Sheikah, what up? Joe, whoop. Dawn Vision, what's up Dawn Vision? <laughs> this has been crazy. Yeah, that is the DJ over there in the corner. You are correct. Trusty Norwood is in the building. So is Jason Moves. Trusty Norwood is here. Trusty, ooh, Trusty Norwood. Bro, they all look better in person, including Clerk Key, bro. Brother, man. Trusty Steve. They said they blowing one before. Probably Frank. Probably. Tommy, the brick stay going up, don't it? Hey, we need to get them likes to 700, bro. There's 1,200 people in here, bro. Get them likes to 700. Hold on, when he when he comes back, I'm away there. Long Island artists in the building. I see him now. I see. You. Shout out to Sean in the building. Shout out to Sean in the building. Oh, she's calling her phone. Trusty Belcher calling her phone right now. She's calling her phone. Finally, I got it on video. The historic moment when she called her phone.
That is the man of like food. I know what you told me. Okay. I just want to make sure. I know what you. You, Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee. I know you too. <laughs> hey, Mr. Lee here, y'all. Mr. Lee is here, y'all. They better not say his name. They better that his name better not come out their mouth while I'm here, bro. Miss <laughs> Miss Mary and everybody says she ain't coming. I can't wait to see. If she don't, I will gladly put hashtag she was wrong. They said it was an offer. We're going to find out. Trusty Tammy Brown has entered the building. Trusty Tammy Brown is on set. She is on set. Dr. Nikita Cloud, Trustee Tammy Brown, Clerk Key. Please let me be wrong. With as fat as this crowd is, and with Mayor Lightfoot being here, please let me be wrong. Please, I'm begging for it. Now, hit the like button. We only at 500 likes. It's 1,400 people in here. Hit the like button and hit the links in the description because we demonetized and we still here. We gotta have a serious talk about Dalton after this. I just got put out by Tammy Brown, y'all. Tammy Brown just put me out, y'all. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just got thrown, I got talked because she just got two texts and check. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're going to begin the roll call for the board trustee meeting for a regular board meeting that was postponed on April the 1st. And I will begin the roll call. So, Trustee Norwood. Present. Trustee Stan Brown. Absent. Trustee Tammy Brown. Present. Trustee House. Present. Trustee Belcher. Here. Trustee Holmes. He's absent. And Mayor Kenyard. She's also absent. And absent of the mayor. Hashtag Miss Mary was right. Hashtag Miss Mary was right. Hashtag Miss Mary was right. Continuation of last Monday, April 1st, board meeting. 
uh, that meeting was concluded early because the because there was no access for all people that wanted to come in. So we felt that this space will accommodate all of the residents that want to come in the tent. We feel it's important that people have access to have communication and talk to the and talk to the board uh, and, and share their thoughts. Uh, so we want to give special thanks to Dalton Park District as always. Uh, we have our president Cleo Jones, or the commissioners Sandra Wells, Commissioner Kyle Rochelle, Commissioner Gail Towers, and Commissioner Willis Harris. They're, they're towards the back, so please give them a lot of love because I want to make sure we give them a lot of love. Continue support and and really the the direction that we that we would like to be in terms of partnership with one another and all and other community board members. So I want to thank them and make sure we uh, we extend our eternal gratitude for uh, their partnership. Uh, so what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna start because prayer is important. So we'll, we'll first start with the pledge of allegiance, then we'll go prayer, then we're gonna reconvene where we left off in the last meeting. If we can remain standing briefly, I'm going to ask the former trustee, Valeria Stubbs, my prayer warrior, if you'll be okay with uh, leading us in prayer, please. Can everybody bow their heads? Heavenly Father, I come to you. Thank you for another day. Thank you for allowing us all to assemble here together and don't have to stand out in the cold and the rain. Thank you for making us up this morning. Thank you for the the four trustees to have our best interest at heart. Father, I ask that you put your loving arms around this community. And anybody that's not doing your will, I ask that you remove them from the seat. In Jesus' mighty name, I thank you and give us traveling grace and mercy on our way home. Thank you. Amen. Thank you for that. So we're going to reconvene and pick up on point number five, which was general announcements at that point, which where we <laughs> continue to be. First, there are, as we may know, and if not, I'll make sure we're clear, there's two, there are two agendas. We are continuing the April 1st agenda. That's where we're picking this up. Once we reach the conclusion of this agenda, we will adjourn this portion of the meeting and then go directly into our special board meeting, which is the second agenda. Just so everybody has, kind of has a heads up on the direction we're going. Uh, so for general announcements, I'll yield to any trustee if there's any general announcements. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, we have a special surprise today, and um, we don't take stuff lightly that goes on um, in Dalton. So I know a lot of people see stuff that's happening on YouTube, on Facebook, and different things. The reason I'm standing up because I seen something on Facebook last week that really struck a nerve to me. Um, we are not responsible for what our police officers do. We would hope that they would do what's in the best interest of the community. But the video that went out with um, Miss Hill getting put out and that baby crying really touched me because it was like you were ruining a special moment for a little child. So today we wanted to make sure that he won't look at Easter so in a negative way. Miss Hill, are you here? Come on. Miss Hill. Chicago Jew in the building. I don't think they knew either. Like so button, we just bro. wanted to 
to be under a thousand likes, bro. We should not be under a thousand. There's two thousand people in here. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Good evening, everyone. Saturday, April the 20th, is the Cook County Missing Persons Day. The Cook County Medical Examiner's Office will host Missing Persons Day in Cook County to help families reconnect with missing, oh God, oh God, with missing loved ones. Who should attend this Missing Persons Day? Family and friends of a missing person more than they want. You should attend this. Is at the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office, 2121 West Harrison Street, Chicago, Illinois. There is a RSVP number. For all who would like to attend. So definitely see me after tonight's meeting if you'd like to attend this event. Also, this coming Saturday is Tea with the Trustees where you can get vital information this Saturday, right here in this building, in this location. 9.30 a.m., we have an awesome time. It gives the residents time to ask questions and get answers. So this is a Q&A session. It's not a uh, at the board meeting where the residents ask for questions and then we'll see you later. So definitely Saturday, we're asking everyone in this room to please come out and attend. See what the trustees is every second Saturday. Firm oh, audits in the building. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, we have Inviar Mental Day hosted by Senator Napoleon Harris, April 22nd. It's at South Suburban College from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. So if you have any old items, uh, recyclables, shred papers, medicine, they'll be able to do that from one to three is the environment today um, on April 22nd. Um, also, uh, Trustee House, when we get a chance, can we uh, have a moment of silence for Cook County Clerk uh, Karen Yarbrough? Face to face to learn about open positions. 
all are welcome to attend. And this career fair is put on by Dalton Park District, Senator Napoleon Harris, and Neighborhood Council Services. So you can definitely see me after the meeting um, if you want to see. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Trustee. We have uh, next on our agenda is the, is the Village Clerk's Report and approval of meeting minutes. I yield the for the clerk meet. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Um, I am requesting the board's approval of the regular board meeting minutes from March the 4th, 2024. So moved. Second. Okay, Trustee Norway. Aye. Trustee Tammy Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Motion passed. Thank you very much, board. Thank you. Uh, there are several reports on here that we do not have um, department heads or individuals present, so we will be skipping <laughs> village administrators report, engineers report, uh, department reports, police, fire, public works, water, housing, building, and code enforcement. And we'll go next to our warrant list uh, payments that we, were, that we need to approve. Um, in doing so, I'm going to make a motion that we approve the, the electronic AP warrant list Removing the following items, Aurelio's Pizza for 131.63, Cooper's Hawk, $557.68, Dollar Tree, $145.32, $2 Food for Less, $107.99, Irene Jerk Cut, $1,356.22, Johnny T. Bistro and Blues, $90.30, Kirk's Barbecue, the answer is a no. And Ruby's, Ruby Soul Food, $674, Sophia Tamales and Corn, $2,400, Southeastern State Supply, $17,500, and the Taste Crab, $458.79. So the motion is to approve the warrant list, removing the items listed. Thank you. I'll ask for a second. Second. Okay, here a motion and second. Any discussion from the board? Clerk, please roll call. Sure. Trustee Norwood? Aye. Trustee Tammy Brown? Aye. Trustee House? Aye. Trustee Belgium? Aye. Motion passed. So Next Mario is the Vick. approval of our accounts payable warrant list. Um, I motion that we approve the warrant list, removing the following items. On um, page five, Delgado Law Group, $48,001.15. Existing concrete, $14,123.03. Five Star, $122,325 even. John's Pro Trees, $155,000 even. KNM Ventures, $183,950 even. Lopez Lawn Maintenance, $10,050. Mazda Design, $65,700. Podarski and Sons, $32,360. Raul and Sons, $181,950. And White Coat Pool Solution, $34,788.58. Uh, motion is to approve the AP, the AP warrant list, removing items listed. Is there a second? Second. Okay, here in the motion and second. Uh, there was one on here, I think, that we wanted to see. Master Design, somebody have that uh, invoice you want to elaborate on what that one is? The Moscow Design was the 122 batteries for $19,888 and also the uh, $65,000 for the Christmas ornaments that still come on Nike. So those are those two uh, invoices and as of last week Friday, they still have not been paid. And we were told that the check has been sent out. I talked to the vendor Friday, no payment for the banners, nor payment for the Christmas ones. Thank you. I would like to reiterate, um, if anybody watched the March meeting, when we had a discussion about these items and uh, uh, the $65,700 came up, if you go to one hour and 35 minutes, our finance director said that the items had to pay in cash. And we're still waiting on the receipts. And if they had to pay in cash, why is this vendor still contacting us asking for payment? So when people go and say things, everything is recorded. And it goes back to our transparency and lack thereof that we're not getting information that we requested. Because as soon as she said it, I, instantly raised my eye when we start paying $65,000 in cash anywhere. And then for this vendor, 
cash. Thank you, trustees. Here, no, no additional comment. I'm going to ask for a keep for a roll call, please. Got a comment? Motion, we have a second. Any discussion? 
discussion with the fire guy. Hey, Phil. So, when we discussed uh, that override, he made a lot of things that were extremely important, right? So important that it got us so excited. I almost stood up and did like this. But the most important thing for us at the moment is two things. Uh, one is the partnership sure. with the Park District and the government agreement. Um, main, one of the main reasons why we're here today is because Great leadership understands that teamwork makes the dream. Like but now. We're supposed to be coming together. Um, my 17 year old, he attended uh, the Dome Park summer camp for like four or five years straight. I mean, it's a wonderful place. It was a nice place for the summer for him to have something to do. And these are the type of things we want to support, not just as a trustee, but as a resident. I want other parents to experience what I experienced. Um, my son got to the point where he's like, okay, mom, I'm just getting too old. But now that he's retired, I'm looking forward to seeing new youth there. Um, and then secondly, he mentioned the keys to Dome Village. Um, that was extremely important because it brought tears to my eyes to see that at the last meeting, we had our seniors standing outside in the cold. Um, I don't know, you know, I don't make much mention of it, but during a lecture while I was running, um, that December before election, I lost my grandmother, and then uh, two, three months later, I lost my great grandmother, and I lost them both before the election. But what was funny is that God worked in mysterious ways, right? I lost two grandmothers, but God gave me about a hundred more. And um, when I see my grandparents standing outside, it, I was, I was kind of upset. Right? This is our village, and we all should have access to it, not just the trustees. I mean, we're all one beat, one sound, one community, and I think that that's the most important thing that us as trustees are just trying to get through to the community. We're all one. So if you all can't come inside the building to conduct the meeting, guess what? There will be no meeting, because there is no meeting without the residents. How do we discuss business pertaining to them without you all? It, that would really make no sense. So I just want you all to know that um, we did hear you all and we seen you all and that was the reason why we're here today. So now that you all are safe and sound and you all made it today, I just thank you all for showing up. Thank you all for your support. And um, we're going to get those keys to the <laughs> Thank you very much, Trustee Norwood. Any other discussion at this time? Okay, hearing none, I will ask uh, for a key for a roll call. Item number 13B, override of the mayor's veto issued on March 4th, 2024. Trustee Norwood? Aye. Trustee Tammy Brown? Aye. Trustee House? Aye. Trustee Belcher? Aye. Motion passed. Um, thank you, board. Uh, here's, we're we're going to come to the, the adjourned one item that I did uh, neglect in general announcement, so I want to make sure I mention it. Former commissioner here for the Park District, Kevin Bowens, will be host the largest giveaway in the South Suburb uh, Christmas in July. So be on the lookout for more to come on that because uh, really we have so many toys and things. It'll be a great opportunity. So please be on the lookout as we proceed. Uh, but uh, this is going to conclude the continuation of last week's meeting. So we're going to do a motion to adjourn on that and then move into our special board meeting. So I make a motion that we adjourn the regular board meeting. Here in motion and second, I was clerk people roll call. Trustee Norbert? Aye. Trustee Tammy Brown? Aye. Trustee House? Aye. Trustee Belcher? Aye. Meeting the journey at 6.57 p.m. 2019. So as I transition, I just want to make sure I'm calling the next meeting to order in a proper manner. As attorney, uh, attorney Olson to, no, attorney Olson on the right hand side. Trustee House, the uh, next meeting is the special board of trustees meeting called by uh, three members of the board pursuant to the uh, code of ordinances of the village of Dalton for the matters that pertain to the agenda which has been duly uh, issued and posted uh, at the meeting last Thursday. Okay, so we'll go right into roll call. Uh, last clerk here, she can give us a roll call, please. 
sure we will not. Um, Trustee Norwood. Trustee Stanley Brown. Absent. Trustee Tammy Brown. Present. Trustee House. Present. Trustee Holmes. Absent. Trustee Belcher. Here. And Mayor Hammond. It's absent. Okay, and um, again, we need to motion. I have a motion for Mayor Pro Tem for this meeting as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, so we will, we will dive right now. I see black. Pledge of Allegiance as well as a prayer. Uh, there I see is black in the building. Item A we were, will be removed. Uh, we did not get sufficient documentation to proceed with the discussion on updated state of Illinois rock salt contract. So that will be pushed to a, another agenda. Items B and C. So for item B and C, I'm making a motion to amend item B, 5B, and 5C to appoint Lori E. Lightfoot as special investigator to the Village of Dalton at a rate of $400 per hour to investigate the following matters. One, the May 2023 Las Vegas trip, including all expenditures, all allegations of misconduct, and all internal investigations, if any, along with any village, state, and federal law violations. Two, the spending of ARPA funding without going out for bid and or failing to properly spend ARPA funds. Three, failure to provide a full accounting of all ARPA funds spent. Four, hiring contractors without going to be or requesting the RFP. Five, sit five, hiring the contractors without the approval of the corporate authorities. Six, making payments to vendors without the approval of the corporate authorities. And seven, paying the village prosecutor Delgado Law Group over $900,000 over the last two and a half years. Oh, um, so, I'm going to do a motion, and I'll make that motion. I'll ask for a second, and we'll go into discussion. There right. So, I made a motion. <laughs> Hearing a motion and second, first I will uh, ask Attorney Olson to uh, further dive into the Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, on the original agenda are two resolutions uh, uh, hiring Hit the uh, like button. Ms. Lightfoot as a, a additional legislative counsel. Uh, I received a letter today uh, from the Delgado Law Group uh, threatening uh, me and the board <laughs> that if we proceeded along this route, uh, there would be litigation and uh, grave consequences. Uh, <laughs> advising that uh, any actions we do here uh, are uh, in violation of the Open Meetings Act and against the law. Uh, I re remind you, this is the same Delgado group who uh, we just received the invoices from the last two and a half years, including March, will be uh, over $950,000. So rather than rather than fight another lawsuit and spend more money on more lawyers, we amended the, uh, the motion tonight. Uh, the resolutions were to appoint uh, Ms. Lightfoot, uh, and that's what the motion uh, is. Uh, and rather than appoint her as a legislative counsel, which is our, our title, uh, directly as a special investigator is, is a more than appropriate. Again, we're looking to get down to the facts as to what's going on in the village and how the money is being spent uh, or not spent. So rather than uh, fight over this in court, we uh, uh, amended the motion. Uh, people are here tonight because they know on the agenda is the proposed hiring of uh, a very learned uh, former federal prosecutor uh, to help the trustees 
sort out what's gone on in the village over the last two years as far as uh, misappropriation and mis misspending. That's why we amended the, the, uh, the agenda as stated to try to avoid yet another one. Um, thank you, Bert. Thank you, Board. Um, at this time, uh, it's my privilege to introduce Lori E. Lightfoot, <coughs> who most of you uh, are sure are familiar with, who she is. But what you might not be familiar with is uh, her, her background, her professionals. So I'd like to just breeze through it, and then Ms. Lightfoot can step up and make a brief comment. Um, Ms. Lightfoot graduated from the University of Michigan in 1984 with a bachelor's degree in chemical science. She's also a graduate from the University of Chicago in 1989 with a German doctor degree, uh, which is necessary to get your, your law degree. Uh, she then worked as an assistant U.S. attorney in the criminal division for the Northern District of Illinois from 1996 to 2002, where she prosecuted a whole slew of different types of uh, criminal cases, uh, but notably she uh, prosecuted cases that involved public corruption. She then worked uh, or was appointed the chief administrator for the Chicago Police Department Office of Professional Standards uh, in that capacity from 2002 to 2004. She was chief of staff and general counsel uh, for the Chicago Office of Emergency Management and Communications from July 2004 to February 2005. Uh, she was acting, I'm sorry, she was acting first deputy procurement officer for the City of Chicago Department of Procurement Services, February 2005 through October 2005. She's a past president of Chicago Police Board from 2015 to 2018. She was co-chair of Chicago Police Accountability Task Force in 2016, and as we all know, she was uh, the mayor for the City of Chicago for a four-year term. Uh, with that background, I would like to introduce Lori E. Lightfoot. Comments 
um, from this night forward until the work is complete. At the conclusion of this investigation, I will provide an assessment of the findings and the recommendations. And I welcome and urge the full cooperation by Mayor Henyard, her staff, all village trustees, vendors, and others who have information relevant to this inquiry. Thank you very much. Feedback and because of the nature and urgency, this process is going to. Before we take a, before we take a formal vote, I don't know any questions? I know there are many questions. There were many questions, and uh, some I feel that we may have answered, and some may not have been answered. So, if there are any questions from residents, we we're going to take questions on this agenda item only at this time. We will follow with public comments, which can be open to any discussion. But we want to make sure first that. Um, we did not let haste um, bypass a process that allow residents the opportunity to speak. So having said, so, having said that at this time, I will ask if there are any questions that residents have that we may not have answered, uh, that those may maybe come line up towards the middle and then we'll uh, entertain any questions at this time. Okay. Ms. Mary getting in line, Mr. Lee getting in line. Into the mic. Let me preface my comment by saying thank you, Lori Michael. Thank you. So I wanted one of the questions is um, because we know that this is going to cost, right? Um, and I'm all for it. Was there another option such as you know some of the system we could gotten from the governor perhaps or congressman or any other appointed official that could represent us at no cost. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for that question. Um, and yes, this does come at a cost. Uh, this board specifically has made reaches to the state's attorney, attorney general, governor's office, and as we know there are ongoing, well, it's been reported that there's ongoing you know, investigations from federal entities. Uh, those entities, as we know, can take anywhere from two months to five years, and, and we do not get the findings. Uh, we feel this option will give us um, an independent process because we, because we will, from this point forward, we will step back, allow Mayor Lightfoot to do her to do her findings. There will be check-ins primarily to make sure, and in the resolution there are, there are check-in points to make sure that we do not. Uh, that the bill does not become insurmountable. So there's a check-in point at $30,000, and then we will we'll assess cooperation and where we're and where we're sports going, and make decisions from that point, including the community, on how to move forward. Separately, we do we are also going into the next budget season. May, May 1st comes a new fiscal budget, and the board of trustees fully was already in the planning process to seek a forensic audit as well as investigation to put funds in for that. Uh, so that's the funding that we are seeking to use to go towards this incident. Thanks for all the questions that I had on this list. Thank you. Good afternoon, all. Or good evening, I guess I should say. A lot of the questions were just answered. And I spoke with Jason, and I reached out to a lot of the citizens. And I said, now is your opportunity. Talking to each other is not the answer. If you've got a question, tonight is the night to ask it. So if you do, think twice about getting in the line. My question is this, and thank you. I know she's gonna do a good job. 
we had a little private conversation, <laughs> female conversation. Anyway, um, what happens with the information? Do I know you probably got a pipeline? Troy, what's happening? You know, to get it to somewhere. I'm not putting your business out there because I don't really know. But we just want to know that once we get what we're looking for, what happens next? Uh, that's a very good question, uh, and what the board does next depends on what the contents of the report is. Have to go. We have tried lawsuits. Uh, all he has done is uh, rack up more, more attorney's fees. We have tried, as as Mayor Pro Tem House said, going to the proper hey, authorities. Uh, and as every day goes by. And you heard tonight from Trustee House how many items were removed from the agenda for payments. But the village loses more money. So the bleeding has to stop. Uh, hiring a mayor Lightfoot to do a uh, prompt investigation will lead the board to where they need to go as to the next step. Thank you. Good luck. Greetings to the citizens of Dalton, greetings to uh, all officials at the uh, dais here and media. Um, is it uh, appropriate to address the question in your life? Is that okay? Or should I address everything to them? Okay, gotcha. Hey, you're my boss. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm saying you have some uh, experience with the police board. You have this. Speak up. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, like that I understand you have some experience with the police board uh, in your resume. Uh, we have a very serious police situation in uh, Dalton. Uh, a very serious uh, problem. Uh, it's gotten to the point where what just happened would have gotten a meeting and would have gotten all of us kicked out of here if we were at the meeting last week, which by the way, I'm still shaking water out of my shoes because I was out there for two and a half hours. Okay, and as well a lot of other people. But we also have a situation where they're taking police, police off of the streets and bringing them in to ride herd on people, citizens, taxpayers that come in here to ask legitimate questions. That uh, police are being used to blockade streets. I just want to be assured that if the police come into this to, to the degree that we've seen, uh, can we be confident that you can take this to the proper authority? Basically, I'm asking about subpoena power for some of these things. Uh, I, I'm, I'm hopeful that subpoena power will be part of this because I haven't seen anything else work up to this point. Um, I'd also like to address a national issue that we don't want to bring here to Dalton necessarily. Uh, we've seen the smear jobs on female prosecutors, and I don't have to mention any names, but we've seen the smears and the attacks on female prosecutors throughout the country. Uh, I'm sure you're prepared for that, but I just want to make everyone aware of the fact that the things that are happening nationally could very well end up happening here, and that will not derail the investigations, but distract and deflect uh, all kinds of attacks from people that do not want this uh, situation to move forward. So uh, thank you for your indulgence. I just had a couple of questions. I, I don't want to get personal with anything, but I just need some answers as far as those things are concerned. Well, let, let me, uh, thank you, sir, first of all. And let me address the, uh, ooh, stand up. let me address the first, the last question. Um, look, I've been in uh, lots of uh, different situations over the course of my career, certainly as a lawyer, as a prosecutor, um, and even as a mayor. Um, and anybody who knows me knows that I don't intimidate easy. Yes, when you're a black man, the world views you for a different lens. Um, and particularly when you're a black woman who aspires to leadership, a black woman who assumes um, a position of authority, there are lots of people who are going to be naysayers. I never let that um, derail me. If, again, if the, I don't want to be presumptuous, but if the trustees vote for uh, this appointment, I can assure you that I will block out the noise 
I will follow the facts where they lead me, and I will be um, guided by the motion and the specific items in that uh, that I am required uh, to address. Um, I can't say that on your first issue, that that's necessarily within the scope of the mandate that I expect to be given, but I hear you loud and clear, and importantly, your elected officials, I think, hear you loud and clear, and there are clear things that can be done to address the issues that you identify. So I hope that's satisfactory answer. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, to the board, and to those. I'm concerned about Dalton, and I do not want history to repeat itself. When I think about how Tiffany Hinier got in this position, it is very bothersome. And I don't want that to happen again. So for the ex-mayor of Chicago, we want to first make sure that you do not have a personal relationship with Tiffany. Because I have seen pictures with you and Tiffany on them together. We want to also make sure that there's not a bait and switch like it happened with Tiffany. Tiffany made all these promises. We thought she was going to do this. We thought she was going to do that. And we in this position. So no disrespect to you. But we want to just make sure that we're making the right decision and that history does not repeat itself. Well, sir, um, again, thank you for your questions. I don't know specifically what history you're talking about. I, I, let me just finish my, my point. Um, I obviously know uh, Mayor Henyard, as I do most of the mayors in Southland, um, having been the mayor of Chicago. Not surprised that you're going to see a picture of me. Ms. Henyard takes pictures with lots of people. Um, but what I can assure you is, I do not have any personal relationship with her, and frankly, I don't have a professional relationship with her. I think the last time I had any contact with her was probably three plus years ago, um, right after she was sworn in um, as mayor of, of Dalton. So um, I'm not surprised, and I raised this issue, frankly, proactively uh, with uh, the trustees and uh, council, but I, I value my reputation and my integrity. Um, and, I would, I would not have taken on um, the contemplation of this assignment if I felt like there was any conflict of interest. Again, to follow up, what I said was not to shoot and insult you. No, I, I, no insult, no offense uh, was taken by me. I understand the, the question that you were raising. I think I've addressed the question. Um, so I think we should move on. To address your question, it was just where did I get that from? And I said baby switch, and not for you personally, it was just simply because how Tiffany got into this position. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Well, thank you. A, a, a very necessary question. So uh, thank you for that question. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mayor, for your response. Uh, yeah. Yes, Good evening, everyone. Yes, Child 
can change some things. Can you? Y'all have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much, Mr. We will, uh, we will also be opening for public comment after this one, uh, for after this component, we still do have the, the official vote, but we do want to make sure uh, individuals can ask a question on the board, as well as Mayor Lightfoot, if necessary. Hello, my name is Gloria Johnson. I am a 26-year homeowner resident of the city of the village, the small village of Dalton. Uh, and the question that I want to ask, I want to know if that even goes to jail. <laughs> Real talk. For real. We're asking for
So, Madam Mayor, thank you for being here. I kind of came this out. As citizens, we've done FOIA requests for a number of different issues that have not gone, we haven't gotten the information that we need. And I understand your history, I understand who you are, but what makes you different than every other citizen who's requested information Because at the end of the day, she's going to stonewall you as she stonewalled the citizens. And so I guess my question for you, and I'm glad you're here, and I want you to be a part of this because I'm hoping you'll get results, but at the end of the day, we haven't gotten results from simple FOIA requests. How are you going to be different? It's a great question. Um, and what I will say without, I think, giving away all of my strategy and strategy that we need to <coughs> get buy-in with the trustees and the assumption that I'm appointed, um, FOIA isn't optional, it's mandatory. And I recognize that uh, people put in any number of FOIA requests. Um, I'm not expecting, I'm expecting that there will be some roadblocks, but ultimately I'm expecting that we will get the information that's needed to be able to understand the breadth of uh, what's been going on based upon the issues that are outlined uh, in the motion. I'm a very determined person. And I think, um, with due respect, the thing that makes me different um, is having dealt with FOIA for years and years, and certainly um, a significant amount during my tenure as, as mayor. Um, there are certain things that I think can be done and should be done of people who have power and oversight in the state over FOIA. I hope it doesn't need to get to that, but if it does, then so be it. I, again, I meant what I said earlier in my remarks. It is my sincere hope um, that Mayor Hender um, and people in her administration uh, will um, voluntarily <coughs> cooperate, but should they not, then we are prepared to do what is necessary to get to the facts. Respect. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Sparkle Brown. I am a 16-year resident of Dalton. My question is, after we take the vote today, we go ahead with the slide book. What happens after that? Because what I don't want to see is another veto and we go down this rabbit hole of going back and forth. When does that stop? When can we stop this going back and forth and get something done? So you know it's the obvious that a veto will happen. And but we have the majority. And the four of us sit here and don't take this lightly at all. Because I knew it would be pushed back. We knew it would be we all said the same thing that the gentleman just said. She's not gonna give you nothing like she don't give nobody else nothing. But at the point where we override the veto, we are we are committed to making sure that whatever we can assist with Ms. Lightfoot to get information. You gotta understand, we're bleeding right now. Yeah. And bleeding leads to death. Yeah. And this is death of a community. Yeah. And we have to stop it. So yes, it will be a, a veto. We, we know that it's coming, but we know that we have four people that will sit here and continue to fight for our community and override the veto. And just uh, one further comment, uh, if the uh, board uh, uh, affirmatively passes the motion tonight, uh, Ms. Lightfoot starts tomorrow. And, 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 uh, <laughs> if, if there is to be a veto, then so be it. We'll deal with that, but the investigation will not be impeded after tonight. Greetings, greetings. Uh, I want to ask the list. I want people to realize not too many elected officials want to open up the floor to unscripted questions. You don't know where it's coming from. That's called transparency. That's called good government. 
Please give them a round of applause for that. Because many, many questions, we had, nobody was planning in the crowd to say this, say that. They weren't paid to come up here and say this. They're taking the questions on the chin and answering. So that, that goes a long way in government. I just want to say that. So my, my question is just, I'm an independent journalist. I came into Dalton to investigate and to cover what's going on here. I've been threatened by the Dalton Police Department. They threatened to put me in a jail cell. They, they've, Chief Lacey has personally pulled out handcuffs against me and threatened to arrest me. Why isn't this investigator being tasked with the job of investigating the police corruption? There's no police officers here, but at the last yes, meeting they were you know, very aggressive with the residents here. And why isn't this investigator investigating the police department, which seems to be very corrupt? So I'll answer, I'll let, I'll let attorney Holtz. As we look into it, there's, there's a two-pronged thing that we're trying to do. We, we want to get answers to the questions that are out there. We also have to monitor in terms of cost, how we, how, what direction we want to go in. Uh, we most certainly, and I'll say certainly because the point, the point of opening this point portion up is to make sure that we're getting feedback from the community. So as we hear more, we can further amend this agreement to expand it into the police department or anywhere that the uh, community wants to like us to go. Pretty sure they want us to get the police department. Yeah. And, and, and as such, I mean, we do need to make sure as well uh, if that increases the budget, but with it, we're here to do the will of the people. And if that's what the people insist, that's what we will do. Governor, 
They will not vote, but will not help us. So when we do this, we're doing this for you guys. Me included. But we're doing this because we have to take a stand that the information that's not given to us, we have to have someone else come in to try to. Now, we, we said the same thing. You know what? She ain't going to get up. She ain't going to give up nothing. But maybe she has more authority to get what we're missing to yeah. seal this deal and take our community back. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody, uh, everybody don't feel it. For the record, everybody don't feel it. Um, hearing no further discussion, I'll ask Clerky for a roll call. Oh, sure. Um, this was motioned by Mayor Pro Tem House and Trustee Belcher that we amend agenda items 5B and 5C to appoint Lori E. Lightfoot as special investigator for the village of Dalton at a rate of $400 to investigate matters read by Mayor Pro Tem Justin, Trustee House, Mayor Pro Tem House. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Trustee Tammy Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Motion passed. Aye. Aye. Public comment. Say, Two minutes. Um, trustee House is probably talking about me. <laughs> we did have that conversation. Um, oh, but earlier, and, and my take on is it's good with the residents. It's good with me. Again, we work for you. So collectively, is what the residents want. Is the way uh, the direction that this board is going. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Stanley Wright. I've been a Dawson resident for three years now. And I would like to ask, uh, y'all mentioned about the commissioners earlier. Uh, could y'all bring them up so I can know who they are? I'll ask Park District Commissioners, please come forward if, uh, if your heart so desires. Uh, one of our constituents is seeking presence. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Um, yeah. Any park district commissioners, if you'd like to come forward, uh, we do have a Hit that like button. Sure Hit that like button. Oh, yeah, follow on the way. Yo, yo, no more outbursts. Uh, All right. Uh, we got President Jones in the very back. Wave his hand there. 
I see mainstream media. They yeah, leaving. They don't I give see a fuck. They out. Man, the mayor of security almost got hurt, bro. We are gonna have to talk about this thing. He asking for Stacy. <laughs> This is not the first time that's happened. 
you they want you to pay your bills they they send you these Black crazy and water bills like the gentleman was saying um you couldn't even call this morning to try to make arrangements to pay the crazy water bills um but again i think that we need to start pursuing something uh, to do something about these employees uh, specifically keith freeman he has access to uh, employees, residents, records, uh, finding out was a former employee, so he has access to my personnel file. Um, you can't trust people like that. Um, what are we doing? I mean, last uh, week's board meeting when everybody was standing outside, I was outside. Um, that's crazy. What are we doing? Has anybody talked to them about that? What's going on with that? With Lacey uh, violating his heels, uh, rights, and just mm -hmm. all types of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is the conversation? Has there been anything? What's going on with all of that stuff? As far as, you know, like, they just did it and, and nothing. I mean, it's like the police, they just, you're just outraged. I mean, it's Jesus Christ, come on now. Something has to give. I mean, it's bad enough we can't do anything about her, but we should be able to do something about them. Everybody is replaceable. You can't tell me that Keith Freeman, not a village employee, or 1099, whatever he is, you can't tell me you can't do anything about it. He can just come in. I don't care if he's appointed every week if, she, if he's fired or somebody needs to go public and say he needs to be gone. It just has to happen. The same thing they did with Dorothy Brown needs to happen with him. At least say it because this is ridiculous. I, I can say for myself, and um, I was here, I don't think other board members, um, I am not a fan of, of if you go to the board meetings, you sit there and you don't even watch staff and the way that they speak to elected officials on the board. So um, I feel that anybody who's been disrespectful should be, you know, should be terminated and gone. Um, legislatively, hiring and firing is not within our purview, which is where we ran into a lot of challenges. Uh, we have one of some of the items that were listed on here that we just overrode the veto. We'll see if there's any relief. And we say relief is a lot of times that comes to court, and we try to do a cost benefit to see if it's worth going through that process um, to do it to go to take it a step further. But I think. Um, uh, I know Trustee Sammy Brown has made some very vocal um, statements as well. And I think the more majority of them want to speak on it. Feel how they're saying something. Because he's got to go. We can't, we can't do it. Y'all about to get the performance of y'all life. I'm sorry. Good evening, residents. My name is Gerald Williams. I'm a 35-year resident of Dalton. How did we get here? Let's talk about the election. During the primary, Tiffany won by, what, 103 votes? 120. We got to do better when it comes to elections as far as coming out. You know, we got, what, 20, 20,000 people? In Dalton, we had what 12 or 8,000 people that voted? Not even 8,000 people. We have to do better. And with Tiffany, you got to do your homework. Look at her when she was a trustee. She had property here that should not have even been occupied. But who does she know in the village that gave her? an occupancy uh, registration to, to put somebody in the house, okay? KS, dial it back. She, she went on Roland Martin, and he asked her, would she be open to an investigation? She said, yeah. Anything that would help her clear her name, and what does she do? She goes and she vetoes it. So, you, you know, we, we gotta come out and vote more as a community because we like 21,000 and 8,000 people and y'all falling for it we got to do better that's all i got to say
Good evening, uh, John uh, Gallagher with the company Gallagher Asphalt here uh, just today to talk about a, a stack of invoices that we have for the city. And I'm sorry if I missed that uh, early on if it got voted on, but uh, we've got, um, we, we've been doing work for Dalton for about 95 years and I feel like we've always been a very good partner in Dalton and just looking for that reciprocation back to us as well. So uh, 2023, the street resurfacing program, uh, we've still got $615,000 hanging out. Granted, I think a lot of that is coming from uh, the Cook County. Um, so we'd just like to know when that might be paid and then also for all the full patch repairs. I think that's about $12,000, $13,000 now. Uh, that we would like to keep supplying to help the streets uh, of Dalton. So. If, if I can, I'll find a specific month. Your invoices have been approved by the Board of Trustees already. Uh, that was, uh, as I read off the list of people that were not um, approved because they were not in the budget, your invoices have been approved, I believe. Most recently, there were a couple of them that were uh, approved today, but the previous um, the previous invoices have been approved months ago. Okay. I'll get you the specific dates if you want to after the meeting. If you can stick around, I'll, uh, I'll find out what those dates are. And then also, with a lot of times, the vendors do email, I'll forward that email over to the finance director, the village administrator, the mayor's office, specifying when the bill has been approved, which month and year, and then that way, asking them to probe a little bit deeper and also get you documentation that um, has been processed, approved by the board, and um, assist in your efforts to the campaign. Okay. I appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck to you. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the luck needs to be. Miss Valerie Stubbs. I'm taking her out, bro. See, y'all fucking up. Get it right there, the girl. There we go. Good evening, everyone. I want to, first of all, thank the residents for coming out. We have been fighting, fighting, fighting for the last three years. I want to thank the trustees and the clerk for the awesome job that you do. And I, I have a question because I'm tired of getting phone calls telling me that they're being harassed by the police. I've been harassed by Mr. Lacey too. But I can deal with Mr. Lacey just like uh, Ms. Lori Lightfoot said that she knows some things, I know some things. So my question to you guys is, Sylvester Baker, what's this wrong? He's an investigator for the police department. And who, or who do we investigate? Oh, 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 oh damn, oh damn. So um, he was hired to investigate everybody in the municipality. But um, when it was brought up before, it's because it was an issue that came about, um, which we can't say because of personnel, um, he, was, he was told, and I have an email that said he only investigates the police department. But uh, they kind of been using him back and forth to halfway investigate whatever they need them to at the time. So my thing of it is, if if you go to work every day, and this is especially for the men, you go to work every day, and at the end of two weeks, you come home without a paycheck. What do your wife do? She put you out. <laughs> so my same sentiment is to Sylvester Baker. If Sylvester Baker, and I know we go back a long way, but you know, enough is enough. And if you're not doing your job, then that's another one that needs to be put on the list too. So we can save that money so we can pay Miss Lightfoot. Thank you.
Good evening. My concern is the village departments, like the water department. I live on the street. Every time it rains tremendously, the street floods and look like a river. That's been going over 10 years. When I first moved down here, it was mostly the village and all the workers were Caucasian. They came out and flushed the sewers so the water would go down because if you don't flush the sewers, and that's the water department, I have not seen that done in over 10 years. My concern are the water department employees and their accountability and who makes them accountable in doing their work because we pay our taxes and our village, village fees for those services. Secondly, our streets, we get bumps, but we don't have lines. We have come potholes. Yeah. I live up near Dorchester, Kenwood, and line. You, you, I go southwest, you can ice skate on your streets. So I don't know what department declares that our streets need repair and new pavement and new lines so you know what side you're on. But yet, they have a camera up that says you turned the corner when you didn't turn the corner. That's more important than servicing our village so it doesn't look like we're running down into the alley somewhere. And in fact, in front of my house, sewer, you know, my size is sewer, then I discovered one day going all the way to my back where my head just says another sewer. So I'm really demanding, not asking, demanding, because I've been out here too long too. Stacy. Flush out and get the sewer workers flushing out those that's sewers. Stacey. I know friends that work at the water recreation room, and that's what you're supposed to do. Have those sewers flush out so our streets don't flood out here and we have heavy downpours. Thirdly, I don't know who's on the police department, but they're rude and they're very disrespectful. I had an incident in my neighborhood. I went over there. The officer told me when I complained, I'll write up a report if you pay me $10. I just walked out. I didn't say anything. Sir, I can work. What? I have a master's, city certificate, all that what? stuff. You don't need to tell a person how, if I'll write the report up if you pay ten dollars. Who's over these departments need to be accountable, and they need to, you need to have people that do balance and check. Everybody needs to be checked when you're working for a village and for people. Everyone has to be accountable if, if they're administration. Thank you. Good evening. Oh, no. Amen. I am happy. I've been living here for 20 years, and nobody ever seen me before. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't seen none of you guys before in my life. And I'm right here. I'm a homeowner. I pay my taxes. Good to meet you. And I am a senior citizen. I'm 67 years old. Oh, by the way, I'm very young, so my people on the internet know who I am. Sure. That's Jay Jones, y'all. Ignore those people on the internet and the YouTubes because they all have their opinions, but they really don't know Dalton. Dalton is a beautiful city. I told a gentleman this before I got in here. I said, what I want to move for? I might move somewhere from hell. It's everywhere. You have to be thankful, and I want to tell the village of Dalton, we are still shining. We might look like we're in the dark, but we're not. Stay strong. Give a good heart of mind. Thank these trustees. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. <laughs> they are awesome. And they are fighting for us. I stand with you all. Yeah. Call me if you need me. That's right. Jay Jones. Let's go, Jay Jones. That's where I'm at, bro. Right, sure. Feed down my street to get to, and they have loud music and everything. I want to know how how I get to feed most on my block. The um, there there was, and I'm saying was, there was an application process for it. The mayor's office had decided to discontinue that. Yeah, we did, we did fill out the paperwork when when, when Robert was in, in the office, but the certificate is passed all the way with. with 
Mm -hmm. uh, yes, so uh, we can do an inquiry, but it's, um, uh, it's probably pretty doubtful because the administration has not been responding. Oh, okay. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. My name is Jedediah Brown. I'm an advocate mainly in Chicago, relocated to Texas, and I got a call. I have got several calls to come and to assist the people of Dalton. Uh, but before I do that, I want to once again, I have been an advocate for over 13 years fighting through a government and police department, and I've never seen the body, the village of the board, and I want to just commend these trustees because last meeting they stood up for the people and they did not allow you all to be this happy. I was honored to be a part of that. Well, yeah, make no mistake, I didn't just come here and assert myself, I was called. And this is the part that people don't know. Regardless of what's said about me before I came, I prayed. I did not forget the way my parents raised me. No matter where I go in life, God is still in control. Amen. And so I want to say this. I don't mean to take y'all to church, but I, I listen to the comments and I listen to the questions. And I just want you all to recognize the moment. Whenever you pray and God say go, that means you're up to something. And when I got involved, I have uncovered things that I think, in my own opinion, that are not lawful but are also unethical. It would take Ray Charles to see it as they say, right? So it's just a matter of time. But what I've learned is if you suffer with God, you reign with God. It and if I do suffer and calling on God, eventually he's going to respond. Yes, and so as soon as I, and there's a lot of information that I'm going to be unearthing in the coming days. But I want you all to hear me so that we don't mishandle the moment. Lori Lightfoot is going to start work tomorrow, but your work doesn't stop. This is the moment when this is talked about in every crevice of the village. This is the moment when we're not going to go and get to know our neighbor because there will be an election coming up. And I want you all to hear me. This is my personal feeling because I've talked to elected officials, residents, and all kinds of people. And I'm not lying to y'all. When most people say, get a die, why are you wasting your time with those people in the dark? Let them have their, their situation. Hear me. The Bible says that God will use the foolish thing to confound the lies. And when you think, when, you, or when people think you're insignificant, you thought I got the exact and the perfect candidate for a move that God is behind. And so what I want to say, people saying, well, what happens if she gets told this? And what happens is that it don't matter what she does because the Bible also says that when two or three are gathered in agreement, he said, I will be in the midst. So what am I telling y'all? That if you guys begin to organize your block, your community, get in the barbershop, go to, it was a place I learned about today, I think it was Angels. They was up in that happy hour. Let's go to happy hours and talk about the nation. But if you all would begin to organize now, she, it's only a matter of time. You can't block what a, a woke, organized people and the guy behind them is trying to do. So what I want to tell y'all today is that a lot of information is getting ready to come up. And we can, we're going to go through the process. But if y'all don't stop, we won't stop. Because everybody who thought Dalton was insignificant and too small to care about, now I see people saying, let's do like the people of Dalton and let's stand up for ourselves. And I want to commend y'all for doing just that. Put the caps in the chat. Appreciate all the comments at this time. Put the caps in the chat. Change, so that will conclude citizens' comments or citizens' address. And I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Prepare okay, motion and second. Okay. Motion and second. I'll ask Clerk Keith for a roll call, please. Trustee Norwood. Aye. Trustee Tammy Brown. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Meeting adjourned at 8.07 p.m. Aye. Regina Waldrop. Regina, Regina Waldrop slid right in immediately. Trustee Brown, can I get a comment, please? How are you? This shot man right here, y'all gotta put him out the building. Oh my god. Trustee Brown gave me a hug, y'all. Can we get a public comment? Can we get a public comment? Absolutely. This meeting tonight, definitely, definitely has put us back on the right track and it starts tomorrow so look out everybody thank you so much for your prayers your love and support 
is also going to be back on the map soon. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Trustee Brown. Oh, my God. Listen. Thank you so much, Trustee. Let me, let, me, let me just tell you this. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta let come on. This is the this is the greatest moment ever. It's trustee Tammy Brown, y'all. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for all your comments, your, your your love and support. It really means a lot. I never used to watch this show. I'm up every night, sleeping late. I can't even get up on time because I'm watching the late night crew. Thank you so much. I'm Thank telling you, Trustee you, Brown. Listen, Thank you. Hi. I'm yeah, telling you, I like a celebrity never, around here. Listen, I never watched it. Oh my, I can't, I can't stop. <laughs> We're up all night. Huh? It's good. I'm telling you. Late night crew. You hear that? You hear that? What'd you say? Let's say you got all the old ladies watching you all night long. Look at here. All the love. I'm telling you. I'll be ready for you, baby. We be up at night laughing at you. I'm telling you. Oh my God. I can tell the tail of my grandson. You ain't gonna get no job going in there smelling like that. And you know what? He follows you every I'm telling you. Did you see him? He just don't know. I never social media. I never did. Oh my God. I cannot listen. I cannot. I'll be in that list. Let me get it ready. Look. We be calling each other. You are? You are? You are? I'll be up all time. I never watched. Oh my God. I am. Look. That's, that's the highest compliment ever. Oh my God, I'm telling you. you just Thank you so much. I'm, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. I am hooked. Oh my God, I love you. I'll be telling people. Get on there, look. Watch it. Get on there. Get on there. I am you with my phone book. Get on there. The late night group. I do. Oh my God. The late night group. The late night group. Everybody, jump online. Get in there. Give them your likes. You got to boost those numbers up. So we got to boost your numbers up. We're like, going to do, do it. I know you've done it. Look yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I, I appreciate oh it so much. You just don't know. Huh? We, we love you. It's, it's 1500 right now. We love you. We love you here. I appreciate it so much. We will be back. Yes, look at everybody. See? Look. Where you going tonight? I don't, where y'all going? We're going to the park. I'm going with y'all. I'm going with y'all. Yep, yep. Well, we're going to the trustees, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I'm glad you did. I would be mad if you got in check. I was mad. I would be mad the mud. So we gotta try to get an official statement. Trusty Tammy Brown, bro. I'm I'm over here. I'm flustered, man. And we a whole municipality. I can't even spell, bro. It said municipality at the beginning. Trustee Steve. Oh, Love Locks, how are you? Trustee Steve, can we get an official comment for you about the meeting? Former Great Trustee meeting. Steve. Great meeting. Uh, believe, keep in mind, if the crowd would have went another way, if they would have came with an overwhelming uh, response saying don't do it, the trustees weren't going to do it. So they're trying to show that they're listening to the people of don't do it. That's huge. I'm telling you, everybody is not going to take unscripted questions. And anybody can come up here and ask anything, because sometimes people come up and try to trip you up. But the fact they did that today, that says a lot about the sincerity and transparency in government. And level of honesty you have in these people. So, hey, some, uh, subscribe to the Don't Trust the YouTube Don't, page. Hey, put the Don't Trust the YouTube page link in the chat, right please, right now. Trustee Steve. Let's try to, let's see if we can get another comment or two. Let's see. It's kind of clearing out a little bit. It's still a decent crowd. Uh-oh. 
Miss Brown said, Mr. Lee, can we get a comment from you? Can I get a comment from you? Uh, give me your give me your thoughts on tonight's meeting. Oh well, give me your thoughts on uh, Mayor Lightfoot being the special prosecutor. Well, my first thought is the damn shame we're in, that we're in this position right now. If the uh, officials had done their job, we wouldn't be here right now. So right now, I'm looking at her like a cavalry. Hopefully, uh, everything will go fine with this. Uh, I think she's sincere about what she's trying to do. And I feel like, you know, it, we got we to do something. We can't keep on doing the same thing over and over again. We're not getting anywhere with the administration that's dead. So maybe, maybe we need uh, something like this. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Appreciate you. I'm muting y'all for a second. I want you to tell everybody. Absolutely. Can I go ahead and get you to tell everybody uh, who you are and wh who you are uh, here uh, advocating my for? My name is Paula Wood, and I'm here for my son, Christopher Wood. He was killed at Maxwell's on Sibley and Dalton, and nothing has still been done about it. I've been calling the mayor over 100 times. She don't return my calls. So I'm trying to get justice for my son the best way that I can. They got cameras and everything. Nothing has still been done. This is killing me. Thank you so much. I promise you, I'm, I promise you, we're gonna shine a light on that for sure. Would you like to give a comment? I'm not sure. What would you like? Do you have a question? Yeah. What are, What are your thoughts on What are your thoughts on tonight's uh, What are your thoughts on Mayor uh, Lightfoot becoming the special prosecutor or investigator rather? Thank you very much. Uh, hold on. Yes. Let's see if we can get another official comment for Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna stand in line see if I can get a, get an official word to uh. Oh, hold on. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, what time do you go out of here? I'm, 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 I'm out of here. Okay, that's good. All day. Okay. Whenever. Okay, Look who it is, y'all. It's crazy. Love, it's man. crazy. I will be back in y'all. Yeah, I'm live now. Up and yeah. Hold on, y'all. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 She got she got Stan Brown. Uh, she beat me. I thought I had the best hoodie today. She done beat me. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Hold on, y'all. Let me mute the mic for a second.
about 10 people. Now we get more. I was just riding the bike. Yeah, she was just riding the bike. Now I'm, I'm going to put you on the spot. And the stubs, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm mean, going to you to do that. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me make sure I'm right. All right, Miss Stubbs, you go. Now, they, they told me I wasn't going to do it, and I told them I was coming all the way here. I got to take you out to eat, but in the next couple of days, I want to take Miss Stubbs out to eat. Miss Stubbs is my hero. Anybody who have their house shot up and come right outside on TV, I respect that from the bottom of my heart. Seriously. All right, that sounds like a date. Yes! I'm taking Miss Stubbs out. And I'm going out. Uh huh. Okay. I'm, I'm going to talk to Dr. Cloud. I'm going to set it up tomorrow. I'll probably. Right now. There it is, y'all. It is official. I won today. I won today. But seriously, thank you so much. No Tom, doubt. For, I got y'all. Because I'm going to tell you, like I saw you at first, to be honest. I know. But I was scared. I when know. You was, when you was getting ready to uh, interview uh, Trustee Bell, I was like, oh, my God. But it was great. You did a great job. And I'm going to tell you, I woke up one night at 1 o'clock. My intention was to go to the bathroom. I'm old. <laughs> And go back to sleep. Now you put on the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <I> <laughs> wait, look, since, I, wait, since I was woke, Columba Lima, okay, since okay, I was I woke, you. I just said I'm going to stay up. I stayed up with you to 5 o'clock in the morning from 1 o'clock on your lap. Cracking up. That's crazy. My husband was like, I'm so. I'm humbled by that. That's truly humble, right? I just be rapping. Well, you know, it's good that people have come. So. Out. I was going to say, you know, I'm an honest person. You super honest. It's, it's hard for me to lie. Right. Because I know at the end of the. Now, I might lie to keep me out of jail. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> but as far as lying. That's not my forte. Correct. Because I don't have to lie. But I'm going to tell the truth. Please. Okay, because the truth is going to set me free. Now, what I was getting ready to say was this. Any event, I have to tell a story to get to my point. Then I'm going to do that. Because this is not just about me. This is about everybody in this room. Absolutely. Okay. And if you, and we all have a past. We Correct. have all did things in our life that we're not proud of. Yes, okay. But God forgive us for everything. Okay. Yes, yes ma'am. But that don't mean that my past is not going to come up. Okay. That I stole 25 cents out of my mother's purse to get me some candy. Okay. <laughs> Well, she, you know, I confess to her that she's deceased, so maybe that part won't come up. But anyway, so don't get bent out of shape. And here's another prime example of what I'm talking about. If, if your past come up, if your past come up, if your past come up because you did some unscrupulous stuff, then, you know, <laughs> you got to deal with it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you got you to gotta deal with it. You know, and it's another prime example of what I'm speaking of, right behind us in the real black people. Okay? I might be here for this. I'll take one, but you know I'm not going to be here. So, that's the thing. Yeah. I'm really going to be here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because we get a bad rap there, dog. Okay. Our average okay. median of income is not to be honest. Yeah. There's no way it is. <laughs> There's no way it is. I mean, if you can There's no way it is. Okay. <laughs> I've seen it with my own eyes, so, so I know I now. Mean, you can say whatever you want. It's just your world. Say. I just want to say that the average income for the village of Dalton is absolutely not twenty to twenty-four thousand dollars. I mean, they make us out to be like poor, and I guess ignorant because the 
mayor. But that's Maybe that's what she made are. before she became mayor. Okay. And that's what she made before she became mayor. Okay. Uh, but, you know, we have people that are flourishing oh, and are right. intelligent and are not God bless you too. ignorant. But it's, it's nothing against anybody that does make twenty to $24,000. Right, right, but of course. I know exactly again, what you mean. that's just not where we are. So we don't want people to feel that we do have hard work here in the village of I just want to say that and thank you. Late night food no I'm doubt. telling you. I appreciate it. We no appreciate doubt. you coming. I can't. They'll, st they'll think I'm fake if I stop cussing. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. As long as I can spit it out. <laughs> yeah, I know. Trustee Norwood, can we get an official comment? You got to give me some direction here. I just got two small questions for you. Okay, okay I'm going to move out the way. Yes, ma'am. Take your time. Thank you very much, Trustee uh, Trustee Norwood. I appreciate you. Uh, two quick questions. Number one, uh, how do you feel the meeting went tonight? And number two, how do you feel the residents accepted Mayor uh, Lightfoot in the investigation? Okay, so uh, to answer the first question, I think that the meeting went... Yes. I think that the meeting went... Great. I'm super excited. I think that the residents came out and expressed themselves. I'm happy that we were able to give them out and give them um, an opportunity to come up and express themselves. Our goal is always transparency. So what they feel is important. And then in regards to uh, Lightfoot, I feel that in the beginning there was a bit of hesitancy before their questions were answered. But once their questions got answered, they feel more comfortable and more confident in the process. So. I'm excited. Thank you very much, Trustee Norwood. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right. Have a good night. Trustee Belcher, can we get an official comment? Pretty please. Uh, I want two small questions. Number one, um, number one, uh, how did you feel the meeting went tonight? And number two, how do you feel the residents accept Mayor Lightfoot in the investigation? I think that the residents, once they got clarity of what was going on, they accept our decision and hopefully they'll understand that we're here for the people and we make decisions based on what people are. We're transparent, something that our current mayor is. All right. Somebody said, don't touch her butt. See, I wasn't going to say it. I wasn't going to say it. I wasn't going to say it. Tell you, what we mean, look. You got to your boy up. Oh, oh, I want to wear my coat, but it was too hot. So, yes, yes, yes. I want to wear my crochet jacket, yes. oh, but it was too warm. Today. No, I know, I know. So, I want to the fun. See, but Trusty Belcher, see, she's not on the clock, so I can comment now. Trusty Belcher is marvelously stunning. I'm telling you, all the ladies look better in person, every last one of them. I can't comment on Mayor Henry. She was not present. But he ain't here. Yes, I would. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, brother. Huh? You, I don't know. That's all y'all, bro. Shit, sure, I'm gonna come outside now. Okay. We hanging out. We going to the marina. It's a birthday party. Okay, I'll be there. I'm about to go freshen up, and I shall be there. Okay. You know where it's at? Uh, Jason will tell me. Okay. Yep, yep. Got you. Thank you, trustee. You going to the spot? I don't think nobody can take You say what? You going to the spot? Yeah, we're uh, I don't know. They, they, uh, we're going to. It's Jay's birthday tonight. We're going to the Over there on the party? Yeah, it's his birthday. It's Jay's party. What's up? Thank you. How are you? How are you? Good. Man, I'm telling you, I never watch social media. I'm like, oh my God, I got to watch it. I gotta watch him. I'm fin <laughs> Let me get ready. I go. Let me look. Let me get my baby, not my little puppy. Let me put you in the cave. I gotta go ahead and set it up. Somebody said, Hold on. They snitching. They snitching. <laughs> oh, God. You see, you see the love these people I have love, for you. you. I love You see that. I'm coming back. I'm telling you. I'm not gonna let up. I promise. You see the love they have. You see. 
even the seniors. Oh, I stay up all night watching. I, that's the part like, that's floored oh me. That's floored me. They love you. Are you okay now, Shay? You need me? See, look. I'm they absolutely you. perfect. I I, you. you guys have we utterly made my you. night. I promise you and guys you have made my night. you liked the Portillo's last night. Oh, it was great. Oh, he went to Portillo. It, it was did great. You love I love it. it. Did you, what, what did you have? I had uh, uh, what did I have? The beef sandwich wet. Did you Italian did you get it? With, did you get a combination? Yes. Oh, I'm telling you. It was on I'm point. I'm telling you. It was on point. I, I, I enjoyed my meal last Man. night. I slept good. She had an awesome. Uh, Beyonce, Can I get an interview off camera, please? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Hey, hold on, hold on. Burgundy, burgundy, burgundy. She with me now, just so you know. Just so you know. She with me. Wow. Oh, yeah, I saw, I saw your uh, interview, yeah. Burgundy Come on in. Yes. Burgundy Blue Commentary, ladies and gentlemen. We here, we here. And thank you, Shay, for coming out. Thank you so much for coming out. He kept his word. He came out. And he got to see what the people are doing. You know more people than me, and I've been here 35 years. How you know this many people? I just picked up the phone, I guess. Oh, call my phone. Yeah. Call my phone. I'm going to call my phone. Just call my phone. Just call my phone. Just call my I'm so Thank humble. Thank so you. Humble. One night I saw you and it was after midnight and I actually knew that that was the show I wasn't supposed <laughs> to watch. <laughs> I watched the show last night. And then night. I saw the one where you interviewed Kiana and I said, Kiana, he's great. You know, there's the two first sides. show, I was like, I don't know. There's two like sides. Him. There's, but I like there's wild side and there's professional yeah, side. Yeah, so I just need to leave the wild side. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I watched the show last night. I'm your daughter's party. Okay, pretty. Oh, appreciate this, sir. Yes, appreciate you. it. No doubt. No doubt. I appreciate the love. He gives me love from the park district. Absolutely. The park, hey, no, go ahead. Tell them, tell them the park district represent, bro. The park district looks out for the trustees. And we are part of the government. We're going to put together one big government agreement to get these park districts back in order to work together as units. So we appreciate the trustees. We love the trustees. The trustees love the park district. I'm Cleo Jones, board president. Thank you. Appreciate it, sir. Appreciate you. Now, Reality TV Chicago. Reality TV Chicago, check us out. Now, how did you feel the meeting went? I think the meeting went good. And I'm, I'm really confident in Lori Lightfoot that she's going to do a great investigation and she's going to bring down Tahoe Tiffany. I hope so. And all the others. Uh, Stan the Man. Daffy Duck. Mr. Sugar Man. <laughs> Not only him, but also must be home. Got to go. Got to get out of here. Crazy lazy. Got to go. Got to get out of here. All right. This is DJ Rico. We out of check TV Chicago. We out of here. There we go. This is our theme song. This means war. That's our theme song. This means war. This means war. Shout out to the Dalton trustees, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my word. Hold on. Hold on. I almost left. My, I almost left my charger being so insanely happy. Ma'am, I'll see you in a little bit. We gotta get out of here, y'all. Let's roll. Oh yeah. Miss Wiedemann, can I get an official comment from you, pretty please? Please? I promise I'm gonna be nice. I know you wouldn't expect it. I was not expecting it. Miss Wiedemann, how do you feel about Dalton, uh, the Dalton village of Dalton using Lori Lightfoot? as a investigator. I know it's not necessarily connected to you, but do you have any personal feelings on it? Um, my personal opinion is I'm, I'm excited about it. She's a great prosecutor. I am confident that she will do the best she can for the residents of Dalton. Thank you very much, Ms. Wiedemann. You are very Appreciate welcome. it.
I'm gonna get me a fish. Are you okay? I, I promise you, I'm great. Now I you love got, your hair. You have to go home. Cleo's Not home. yet. I'm going home in two days. So where are you gonna be tomorrow? Uh, I'll be in Chicago. I'll be in Chicago, and I think I'm coming down for the township meeting too. Tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. They're not gonna let us in. I'm media. They gotta let me in. <laughs> they gotta let me in, and I'm gonna report the whole I thing. I drive Uber. I gotta get out there on my class. Mm. Have you ever driven Uber? No. I have not. I drive Uber in Chicago. What? <laughs> is that? Is it any fun? How long have you been driving Uber? Six years. I know. Hey, t me, trustee, I got mom with me. I'm taking a picture with him. <laughs> Jedediah Brown. Safe travels home? Yeah. Y'all was amazing today. Thank y'all. This is great. This Thank is fun. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. This is, this, this is a great. Can I get an official comment from you, Jedediah Brown? Can, uh, community oh. activist, Je is that a proper term, community activist? What, what do you call yourself? I want to make sure I tell Okay. Jedediah Brown, how do you feel, two-part question, how do you feel, number one, about how the meeting went, and how do you feel, secondly, about uh, Mayor Lightfoot investigating Tiffany Henry? Mayor Tiffany Henry, I'm sorry. First of all, I want to say, nice to meet you. Appreciate it. And and damn, you showed up for real. Yeah, like, I was like, going to come. For real. For real, for real. I've, I've seen a lot of YouTubers say that they was going to do something, they don't do it. Um, I do know that you've been digging and scratching into my, my business, my background, and I do appreciate you giving me a chance, because I think that that's what it is. It's a chance to uh, make your problem. We're going to do that, Shay, but y'all keep talking. I heard you say I don't wash my face. <laughs> I am the Versace police. I'm oh. Officer Versace. There go the badge that you keep talking. <laughs> that's you talking. That's the badge, y'all. <laughs> now the meeting itself, bro. Um, I think that this is. I think that this is. It was a phenomenal meeting, and it did what it needed to do, and that's encourage people that things are happening. She do have an opportunity to veto this. They then will have to go and override her again. That will conclude it. But none of this stuff matters if people are not organizing to make sure two things happen. Can't put it up on the police, and you can't put it up on them. People have to organize. If they don't want her, you know what would be crazy? Is that after all of this, the seniors who think they like her re-elect her because people who are complaining don't vote and don't organize. So this meeting is going to be, this meeting's effect is to be determined. And then Lori Lightfoot, I don't care what nobody say. I was an, I, I was an advocate in Chicago under four different mayors. Lori Lightfoot was the most responsive. She was definitely not easy to get along with all the time, but she a boss, bro, and nope, she's not bought, and she stopped paying to play, and I'll tell you one thing I know for a fact. This is what I know for a fact. I had to bro. Let me tell you this. Lori Lightfoot is not going to sa uh, sabotage her reputation for Tiffany and y'all, and she is going to uncover whatever needs to be uncovered if she can, and she's going to put it out there because she ain't going to lose her life and her future and her, her relevance for, for Tiffany and y'all. That you can count on. It's going to be thorough. Thank you very much, Jedediah Brown. Hey, but it's the it's the Democratic machine, my, my boy, and they look out for each other. But this is the last thing I'm gonna say, because I really want to talk to you. I'm, I I appreciate the, the is it the late night show? Late night crew. Late night crew, and shake. And I'm a I'm a subscriber now, so we can fight each other and talk <laughs> shit together. I expect that I'm fine with that. But I really do appreciate you and y'all. Because out of all the YouTubers I've ever dealt with in advocacy, this, you've been the realest and dope. You show up, my boy. Oh, and the people here, they, they fuck with you. So I got to get along with you. <laughs> like, you the box. You said that I was not washing my face. No, but for the record, Stan Brown looked like Daffy Duck with his beak blown off. Not you. I'm not Daffy. You're not Daffy. You Man, never you was. Me. I'm looking in the mirror. You like, never I was. That's see Stan it. Brown. <laughs> That's Stan Brown for the record. Always has been for okay. the record. Okay. Oh, and last thing, Shay, I'm not a fucking journalist. Y'all talking about some show your camera and this thing. I don't film and I saw that at the scene right. right now. So that's my point. I'm not a journalist. But you need to learn. No, I'm an advocate, bro. Like, I'm the person that do the boxing. I'm not a journalist either. You guys, please, do the laundry help me. This is my man. If you, we, we if you make it good, you're going to help me.
Okay. Well, he's my boss now. He, I'm, make sure, I'm, hey, make sure that people hire me. That's who hired me. I got the, I got the proof. <laughs> <laughs> I was hired by the late night crew. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. <laughs> nope. I, nope. I don't need it. I I really appreciate it. I, well, I tell you what, since I've been here, I've been well, totally okay. taken care of the whole time. And, and, and I want you to know something. Mm -hmm. I do smoke weed at home, but I don't talk about it online. Because <laughs> I don't trust the police. It's legal here. I don't trust. I just well, yeah, I, I, never mind. I get it. They, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I forgot where I was at for a moment. Forget, <laughs> no, I, I forgot but where I was my at. My husband's a Vietnam veteran, so he has to have it. Yeah. He is a combat veteran. Okay. So he has to have it. But. Okay. But um, that's the truth. That's real. I appreciate you. That's why I don't talk about it online, because I don't trust them. Me neither. You should not trust them. Oh, no, never. Oh, never. Real they are. Have a great night. No, no. Trust Lacey? You crazy? Not me. Yep, talking to myself, me and... My, what is it, 1,200 other personalities? Oh, you, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Tiffany. Why you make, why you embarrass me? Yeah, she knew I was going to, bro, I was going to embarrass, I was going to embarrass the fuck out of her all the way. I was going to try to smash in front of the whole village. Who came out here? Long Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah, I saw him and he left early. He probably, but it's people over here. I can tell. Yeah. I can tell. You going to the meeting tomorrow? Uh, I guess so. I'm gonna go to the doctor and then. Uh, what time is it though? Same time, I believe. I'm going to be there. Be safe. Which one? Oh, okay. I know. I'll see you there then. Yep, yep. Bruh. Bruh. Uh, I'm kind of lost for words. I almost walked to the wrong vehicle and shit. Oh, excuse me. That was the water burp. You have to excuse Shay. Give me just a moment, y'all. Get y'all in here. Give me a moment. What's up? What size you need? The village of Dalton, bro. This is my this is my stomping ground from here on out, cuz. Let's see. This one is two. I got a women's too. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that is so cool. That works for you? Yes. It's all you. Yes. I, no, I appreciate you wanting to wear it. I appreciate yeah. you. Thank you so much. But I don't, you know, you never get to see it, but I will yes, wear it. Well, I'll be back. And then next event I come to, you just wear it to the event. I'm so happy you made it. You need anything? I promise I don't. Because I was going to buy you a big old pan of chicken like this with the fries from Sharks. With that lemon pepper. No! <laughs> y'all hear that, y'all? She's about to throw the lemon pepper on my shirt, bro. <laughs> I got my shirt. Can I show them I got my shirt? Absolutely. Out here in the streets with this LNC merch, bro. We out in the street with this LNC merch, bro. You should have showed up. I got mine. Hey, Hello. Shay told y'all, bro. Hello. Thank you. Like yep, yep. Life. Appreciate you so much. Yes, ma'am. 
one day they gonna tell me, oh, Byron, you will come up to the township. I, that's where my money goes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's why. I'm supposed to be sitting over there. Yeah, because I'm in Dawson. We're under that umbrella. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, my house, I was gonna walk up here, but I had to drop my great grandson off, so I, I, I went on here and drove. Yeah, so I'm gonna get on. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'll see you tomorrow for sure then. Okay, make sure you get some good rest and good eating. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, we referee official out in Dalton, bro. I don't think you understand. No, I know you don't understand. You couldn't. <laughs> You can't. Let me get the fuck out of the boat. I gotta go get shit, get dressed. Unrivaled motherfucking coverage! Cause I and my team, we have a motherfucking unrivaled squad, bitch! Now that I got that out. Shout out to Midwest Accountability in the building. Uh, Mayor Henry. Yeah. You gotta get the back of the line now. I got a whole bunch of other bad bitches that gotta go first. First of all, I don't think I can joke about Mayor Henry no more now that the trustees are making fun of me now. And and for the record, all the trustees know who I really hit, just for the record. Maybe it's the mayor. Everybody, don't you know that the trustees told me that they favorite joke of mine was, but I still fuck. <laughs> they told me this to my face. What y'all think? What y'all think it's a game? God is so incredibly great. Trusty Belcher got caught me flat-footed, nigga. It's rare. It's rare. It's rare. Caught me flat-footed. There's a couple of things we're going to have to talk about, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A couple of things we're going to have to talk about. They all know. They all. Trusty Tammy Brown, bro. Do not ignore the calling in your life. We're going to make this ride together. I know some of y'all nervous like Shay when you getting out of there. Just, just hold on, nigga. Damn. And we're gonna do it together. Jesus is gonna guide us. I'm so incredibly just this is unreal. It's so next level unreal, bro. So now I gotta go put some fresh digs on because I gotta be looking sexy. I'm so sexy. And I like you.
gotta get a new trap phone. I gotta get a new trap phone. There we go. Maybe this will work. Look like it's working. It worked! This does want me to stop cussing so much. Damn it. Shit, fucking ass. I'm gonna work on it. Yeah, I need to work on turning that down. Shit, they ain't here damn near dying. Map's not working properly. Nigga trying to figure out how to get the fuck out of here, but I can't because I don't have no map now. Yeah. Let the setup begin. Get out. What are you doing? Hold on, y'all. I'm I'm so serious when I'm telling you I'm trying to find out. There we go. My fucking direction is just... I promise you, I pushed it, like, right when I pulled out. My direction won't work. No, actually, I'm gonna go left. That's the best way to go right now. All right. I got my directions. All right, man. All you other motherfuckers, get out. You don't fuck with the late night crew. It's time to leave. You had your fun. You had your fun. All this shit. Leave. Get up. Get up. Get up. What's happening, y'all? What the fuck is going on, nigga? I got something I got to tell y'all, but I got to wait for a certain moment to tell y'all. It's going to be here shortly. I never even motherfucking heard of him. I've never heard of this nigga. But a village fuck with him heavy. But a village fuck with him heavy. Nah, it, it's my trap phone. I'm gonna stop at uh, Walmart or something in the morning and buy a new one. I need a new trap phone. I got two phones. One for the stream and one for the map. I got two phones. What's the speed limit over here? 35. I got some stuff to say about some people. And some people might not like what I have to say. And in true to Shay Lewis Hall fashion, I do not give a flying fuck. It's just how I get down. Shay stays Shay at the end of all of this. 
I'm about to go party with the trustees, but first. First, look at the, shout out to this village, bro. Shout out to the fucking village adult, nigga. This bitch want to loot and pillage and we trying to save a village, nigga. Uh, we going to Mr. Larry's U-Haul spot. Yeah, Mr. Larry's, Mr. Larry's is having an after party. So, yeah, Mr. Larry, uh, <laughs> Mr. Larry, yeah, we going over Mr. Larry's. I'm gonna go ahead and get me, I'm gonna get me a motherfucking 20 foot truck bed, nigga, and a lap dance, nigga, for motherfucking $79, nigga. Ain't nobody fucking with Larry on the prices, nigga. Ain't nobody fucking with Larry on them prices. Yeah, let me over. Nigga, I was trying to get over too with your bitch ass. Nah, but go ahead. Oh, right on, cuz. Right on, bro. That's love. We are officially on Sibley. See, they even nice out here in traffic. That motherfucker got behind. He's like, nah, you got it, bro. I see what you was doing. Oh, man, right on, nigga. Who else is, this is unrivaled coverage and it's due to unrivaled research. And bro, my motherfucking moderators are the fucking ones. I got the best moderators on YouTube and I put it on everything. I put my team against any team on this platform. Any motherfucking day you niggas wanna do it. I got the best moderators the game has ever fucking seen. I stands on that nigga. These niggas are one. Now. Dalton. Looks like Dalton police may be up there. Pull somebody over. Possible. I thank God for protecting me going to the village. I did this to show people that if you get your right life right, the Lord is not expecting for us to be what we consider model citizens. He wants us to be models of Christ, not model citizens. Models of Christ. I can go wherever the fuck I want to go without fear of being harmed. Why? Because I'm God's son. I've told you you fools this already did you forget I can't help but shout out man shout out Troy Don Vision Critical Smoker uh, Beth Love Locks Fucking Lucille Fox, like Jay Jones. Like, are, are we serious right now? Miss Mary, Mr. Lee. They all look at me. I'm like, man, I'm looking at y'all like the most y'all the celebrities. Trina, Miss Downs. I'm truly humble. I didn't do none of what I did for any of what I got. I swear for Lord I did.
I'm out of the village of Dalton. Safe and sound. Like I told you, I'm getting ready to go to the house. I'm going to smoke one. Ready to go hang out with his Fuck the mainstream media. You heard what somebody said. The village fuck with him, so I gotta leave him alone. Do you know what that means to me? That's worth more than any dollar amount you can write on a fucking check. Because most you niggas ain't good enough to go anywhere. Yet, I have another safe house multiple safe houses on the map say her motherfucking name say her name nigga shout out to carl wilson justice for alexis wilson the other mother that spoke i'm getting ready to go ahead and tammy brown wants me i'm going to do that i got you say less i didn't come here to grandstand I didn't come here for clout. So I got to parse my words carefully with the other things I got to say right here. The village of Dalton is 22,000 people. How many motherfucking people Subscribe to the YouTube channel Long Island Audits. Somebody please find it out for me. See, because if I'm a, if I'm a, see, I saw Jetta die tonight, and a lot of stuff I had a problem with. I don't necessarily have a problem with now because after talking to him and getting to understand on some shit, the nigga was there in a way on some way different energy tonight. Six hundred and ninety five thousand. Why the fuck are you getting up in these people's fucking meeting, asking public, doing a public comment about yourself, disguising it as some shit for the village? Nobody give a fuck about you getting threatened by the police, nigga. You don't fucking live there, nigga. They do. They deal with that nigga every fucking day. Nobody give a fuck about Lacey fucking with you the fuck is that shit you get in there late you don't speak to nobody you leave the fuck out of there early because you was there for your fucking self i hope your ass since check look good because that's what it was about nigga so keep doing it for that fucking weirdos these are real motherfucking people you sitting there whining about a motherfucking oh chief lacy threatened me bitch you was there one time shut the fuck up did you get threatened today were you good around that motherfucker today what the fuck man they in there talking about investigating mayor henry and all this shit and you here you come oh well let, we need to talk more about the police how many of the fucking people on the ground have you actually been talking to bro that's a, i'm not implying anything I'm asking a real question. You sitting up here live on fuck. You couldn't even put the phone down for a public comment, nigga. The, bro, I'm telling you. I got problems with clout demons, bro. I got a real problem with that, man. And I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't care how many subscribers a nigga got. A nigga can have 25 billion, nigga. I can still say something about anybody, nigga. Your subscriber count does not <laughs> does not let it be known. And y'all niggas all claim y'all Mr. Free Speech. So, nigga, just take it as a lump and move the fuck on. Because if I'm going to have that mother... Because one thing Jedediah didn't do, Jedediah did not... Of all the times y'all be... And, and the times where we can all really sit and be like... Jedediah is on this live on some shit. Je Jedediah is on this shit for... 
this nigga did not get up there and sit here and ask for policy changes based on his fucking feelings getting hurt. This nigga asked for whole policy change because of his feelings getting hurt. Fuck your feelings. Bro, y'all niggas is something else, man. Y'all niggas is low-key something else, bro. Problem I'll be having with you niggas, bro. And I ain't gonna fucking lie for any of you niggas. Won't do it. I had a real problem with this shit. I had it, bro. Level 20. I had a level 20 problem with that shit. Man, shut the fuck up, bitch. And I commended them for it. So I'll take this one. We not hiding no comments. We hiding you. Shut the fuck up. This a nigga, shut up. All Tiffany trolls in there going crazy tonight. I told, didn't I, didn't I warn y'all about that shit last night? Y'all see all the motherfuckers that, oh, they pretend they friends and shit. All of a sudden start acting up tonight. You see that shit? I told you, nigga. We don't do new friends, nigga. We only fuck with friends. We only fuck with family anyway. We don't really do the friends type of situation. Family. We, I'm kind of like Dom Toretto in that sense, nigga. Family. It's all about family. 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 Shout out to Mocha. That fucking... I watched that. I watched damn near everybody in the village come up to me. You know what that lets me know? I'm like the only nigga that I actually talk to them. The rest of you niggas is just making content about these real humans. And y'all don't even feel nothing. But then y'all want to try to make it seem like it's all just Tiffany's the Tiffany's the only narcissist involved in this whole situation. Got it. If you a YouTuber and you speak at during public comments, you're doing it for clout. Stop lying. Stop lying. How the fuck can you get up there in three minutes and say something to this whole public that to help to, to have them change the policy and shit? You don't live there. I literally told the residents, I have to make another video to show the world that it's really just two or three crazy motherfuckers in the whole town. But it's so small and they have so much power that it can wreak havoc. I gotta make a whole video to show y'all that. Nigga, the niggas in Dalton ain't broke. You should have hollered at me, homie. I'd have let you know that the mayor's motherfucking uh, security was looking at your bitch ass. I'd have let you in on that little secret. But you ain't got no professional courtesy. You just like the mainstream media, nigga. And fuck Channel 5. That nigga at Channel 5 that tried to talk shit to Steve, fuck you, nigga. Me and Aunt Steve damn near beat your ass, nigga. So fuck Channel 5, punk ass nigga. Shout out to Hannibal is Hungry. Hannibal, Hannibal, get to Dalton. You are a motherfucking legend here, cuz. Get to Dalton. You are a legend. You are a legend in Dalton. Do y'all not know how much weed was allegedly given to me at this event? All types, pre-rolls, gummies, 
Nugs, the whole nigga. These niggas are the realest niggas ever. Dolan's the realest city ever, bro. The realest village of all time. They the realest village of all time. And I got a date with Miss Stubbs. Hey, y'all. I'm, I'm putting everybody on blast. Nigga, burgundy blue commentary. Fine than a motherfucker, nigga. She's a straight up dime, nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. Burgundy, fine the motherfucker, bro. She like she pretty on camera and shit. In real in real life, she fine the motherfucker, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. And just for the record, I'm I'm gonna put y'all on some game. And I hope one of the trustees or somebody listen. I'm gonna put y'all on some game. Nigga, I only I only ask motherfucker Weedman that question just so I can say I had Weedman on camera. Weedman had them tight ass jeans on. She still wasn't fucking. She wasn't fuck with the nigga. Kiana Belcher is undefeated, nigga. She's cheating at this point. I I think Kiana juicing. We need to test her. Kiana is literally juicing. And I was just sitting there looking at the mayor, and I felt bad because the whole time all I kept hearing was, "I'm the captain now." <laughs> That's all I kept hearing, nigga. I'm the captain now. Miss Stubbs ain't my auntie. I'll tell you that much. Nah. Yeah, that ain't my auntie. That's y'all auntie. Oh, Kiana look way better than Tiffany. I've already, I've always said that. That's not even, stop playing. Let's stop. Let's stop. I've already told you. Kiana and them, they don't need to wear all that fucking makeup. And they thick than a motherfucker, bro. Like, they got some fucking... They got some damn cakes on them, bro. This is ridiculous. I was scared to shake Clerk Key hand. She was like, hey, hey, nigga, the other shit, fuck that. But, hey, you keep doing that interview with Trusty Belcher shit. You know that shit when you ain't cussing and smoking weed? I fucks with that. <laughs> <laughs> Who did I tell you I was afraid of, bro? And I'm about to go party with her, nigga. Oh, man. Nigga, Kiana walked in front of the camera. I was like, nigga, what the fuck is going on? I'm here. That was when I, that was the moment I was like, I've arrived. I was like, the polka dots? I was like, wait a minute. I'm not sitting at the desk saying it, though. I said it to myself like I was sitting at the desk, but I wasn't at the desk. I was, I was there. Shout out to Trustee Steve. Yeah, Kiana low, Kiana low key juice. Yeah. That's. Yeah. All right. Trusty, trusty Norwood. Oh, my Lord. Her motherfucking skin is flawless in person, bro. And she's so nice. Um. I mean, obviously, Trusty Belcher was looking good, motherfucker. Nigga, uh, Trusty Brown was in there. Man, I love Trusty Brown, bro. I love me some Trusty Brown. We did not get an official comment from Jason House. He snuck out of the back. He pulled a Tiffany Henry. Officially, I want to say it again. Miss Mary was right. And there was a big reason why I knew she probably What was the, what is literally the last thing I said before that? She made me forget that quick. Let me over, nigga. Okay. Nope. I'm staying here. You go. Now nah, I go. How am I muted?
Can you hear me now? That should fix it all the way. Burgundy Blue tried to call me and it like fucked my stream up. I don't know what the fuck it did. But we back now. The uh, the next board meeting is a uh, where's that flyer at? It's the oh this is a uh, advisory presented by the advisory committee to the people's trustees of Dalton. So that's this month, and then um the township meets tomorrow. And um, township meeting is tomorrow. And um, what else? The next meeting is the first Monday of of May. I'm trying to process too much information all at once, and I don't blow it. I'm stunned. I'm the captain now. Nigga, Meryl Lightfoot, that bitch scared me, nigga. First of all, her damn stud security down there. Did y'all hear that bitch down there? Well, I don't want to be on it. Bitch, you don't want you trying to squeeze in, but nigga, where's reality TV Chicago? Are you in here, bro? Please tell me that nigga's in here. Oh my lord. Me and reality TV Chicago. Bro, first of all, shout out to Ed Steve. Ed Steve was like, hey, y'all come over here. Ed Steve is the reason we in the front. We was in the front. Just for the record. Ed Steve. And Long Island Audits, if you had talked to people in Dalton, you would have got a really good seat too. But that's another story for another day. Y'all niggas are weird, man. And I ain't gonna, you know, I don't I can't speak for Dalton. But I'm gonna tell you, I did not like the way you were moving tonight, nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. Nigga, I ain't that nigga op. How the fuck? This nigga said pray for my ops. Nigga, I'm not that nigga's op. He realized that he caught. Bro, he think I'm a nigga again. Again. This, I, I don't know what, I don't know how it even got to how it got, but it, it's a situation where Shay stay Shay. And that's what people understand. And that's what I love about Dalton. Ain't nobody in Dalton telling me not to be me. Even when people are like, yeah, I don't really this x and y bro i talk to people off camera there's people that y'all have been mingling with in the chat and whatnot with that came up to me and did not want to be you know get blasted out and whatnot bro niggas we heavy there we are heavy in the streets and the next time i come i'm bringing a whole fucking box of shirts stress nigga ain't nobody oh no let me explain something very stuff about tonight nigga no nothing 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 but this is again this is me being honest and when i'm being honest i'm going to talk about things that i didn't like as well that doesn't mean that my focus is on that there's no way i just i'm in the literally in the middle of the biggest stream i've ever had as a youtuber and it's a completely demonetized stream so what so what so what? I am rich. I'm Dalton rich, nigga. I'm Dalton rich. I'm motherfucking Dalton rich, nigga. And like I told y'all, I didn't spend a fucking dollar in this motherfucking. I'm never going to either. I ain't never spending shit in this bitch, nigga. The fuck I look like giving money in, to this fucking municipality, nigga. This is a whole municipality, nigga. Fuck them. I'm giving them niggas shit. Um, while we on the topic of not giving shit, since I have to be fully transparent, um, the late night crew donated uh three hundred dollars worth of food to this evening's event. receipt will be shown once I get home Beth was walking out with a whole pizza
<laughs> so shout out to the whole late night crew looking out for the for the folks oh shit that's the second time I've done that I'm glad to hear that, Beth. It was amazing to meet you, Beth. I heard what you said, and I'm gonna keep my word with what I said. And I got you. You said to do that for you, I'm gonna do that for you. That's my word. Hey, let them have it. Hey, Moz. Moz. Put the shit on safety, nigga. <laughs> Take the night off. Take the night off. Let them have it. We, nigga, we winning anyway. Can't lose. <laughs> Can't lose. Because I know for a doubt, for a shadow of a doubt, a lot of things. And there's a few things that I won't say out loud that are truly of my personal feelings. I want to shout out Critical. I want to shout, bro. Critical Dawn Vision, bro. I, I'm, I'm, I'm all, I'm kind of fucked up over all this, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. It's, it's a bit overwhelming at the moment. I need to get some reefer in me. It'll help. It'll help me process what's going on a little more. I got a hug from Trusty Tim Brown. And, bro, this is how I know Trusty Tammy Brown is the realest of all time, nigga. I told y'all they fucked with us. Oh, shit. Nigga, y'all almost died. Y'all almost went through the windshield, nigga. Cleese, shut the fuck up. Or I'm suing you for false allegations and defamal allegations. Damn it, now I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Okay, I know where I'm going. Nigga, when somebody said, don't touch her booty, the trustee, the, when I was sitting there filming, trustee Belcher's official response, and somebody was like, don't touch her booty. Nigga, I was not going to say nothing. I tried to keep that in, and trustee Brown, she saw that shit snitched like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Dalton trustees. I can't even believe. I'm like, let me get. I'm almost in a parking spot finally. Shay is safely back to origin from the Dalton Village board meeting. I know some people thought that might it might have been touch and go tonight. But I'm God, son. And I meant that. It's not a game. It's not a joke. It's real life. I'm God, son. Hold on right quick. do something real quick. And I don't say this with cockiness. I say this in utter amazement and just the fact of being proud. Had anything happened to me, it would have been an issue. Just so we all on the same page about that. Had anything happened to me, that would have been an issue.
I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna smoke some of this Dalton Wild. This is Dalton Wild I'm talking about. Make sure y'all follow Critical Smoker because I'm pretty sure I'm about to pull his face out of my pocket. Pause. If you don't come up here, you ain't no real motherfucker. And here's what I mean by that. Obviously, it depends on people having ability and all that shit right if you reporting on this shit at all and you're not coming up here because you just like kind of like in fear of like what will happen all you got to do is build relationships with the community and they will let you in if you you don't need the police to let you in places you need the community to let you in places food Uh, that's why I was late. I couldn't get live. Devil was fucking with my stream. I'll rip. And then once I got live, it was like the devil was trying to get me to panic. And I just wouldn't. Then once I got live, history was made. The media, nigga, they messed up. They had such a shitty spot. <laughs> they had such a, such a shitty spot. So, nigga, so you saw how I had Mayor Lightfoot? You, you saw how I had, like, pretty much every word come out of her mouth. I got the best footage of Mayor Lightfoot out of all the, you know, media, right? Just know that, um, just know that, um, all they got was the back of her head, bro. That was it. They couldn't get nothing else. Back of her damn. Fuck around and got locked up. It won't let me out. Yeah, Critical was in the house. It was a lot of people in the house. I'm not going to tell you who all because I don't think a lot of people want y'all to know. Understand we're not done in Dalton. This is not a one and done type of situation. We pot committed. And plus, we a whole municipality, nigga. We a whole municipality. Nigga, she had on, I just rode a bike hoodie. I'm done. I can't believe the seat we had. Legendary coverage, bro. We a whole village. We a whole municipality. There's no way I could have ever expected the type of love I received in this in this situation. There's no way. Pete, bro, the all ages. I had I had young people come. I, bro, there's literally people. Whoever you are that took a picture with me, bro, who are you? Tell me who you are. 
I had somebody come up, can I get a picture? Yeah, took a picture. I'm like, they get me. There's not too many places that can say they get me. They truly get me. They understand. They understand my total. They understand my total thing. The biggest compliment tonight, obviously, like for Clark, for Clerk Key to compliment me on my Kiana Belcher interview, I don't think she understands. Like that, I, that's what I'll be trying to prove to people that I can do that and I do do that when it's necessary. Shout out to Love Lock, bro. Nigga, I, I didn't know what was happening. Next thing you know, Trusty Belcher and them bringing them up to the front. I was like, damn, nigga. Tiffany got embarrassed tonight, nigga. It really is. That's love. I own everything I love. This is not the last time you're going to see me. I'm too loved around here to make this love. My, I like going places where I'm accepted. I, I don't, I'm not out. Look, I'm not always looking for the next new thing. Unless it's Mayor Henry. Mayor Henry going to fuck around hit me with that text. So if I let you fuck, can you get me out of this shit with Lightfoot? No. Kendra, utter, anybody that just got here, you don't understand, LNC, first of all, any of the news cameras that show the mayor, they're almost, you're almost going to have to see the logo behind the mayor, I was standing right behind the mayor the whole time, and they're trying to film her, they got the back of her head, nobody had a better shot of the mayor on a live stream, we had the best mayor, live shot of the mayor. Everybody was everybody was feeling the hoodie, bro. Hey man, shout out Troy. Troy, bro. I don't look, listen to me, y'all. I don't know what's going on around this part of the country in Dalton. These fuckers have been dip, just swimming in the fountain of youth. Jay Jones, there's no way, bro. She's 67, my nigga. 67. Troy, Troy, forty-seven, and this nigga look younger than me, bro. These, they, bro. Troy said he was forty-seven. I couldn't believe it, bro. I still don't believe it. Jay Jones says she was 67. I don't, man. And I'm not that they, and I know they're not lying, but I'm just saying, bro. And I felt bad because I wanted to spend more time with everybody. So I don't want nobody to think I was dissing or nothing like that, bro. I was trying to make sure I got to everybody. And you, you saw I stayed in there until they told us to get out. I didn't just, I didn't just film my content and leave. I stayed until they told us to leave. Yeah, the little guy that was kicked out from the Easter egg hunt, the story that LNC helped expose with the help of Burgundy Blue commentary on the ground. Burgundy don't, Burgundy looks like she's 27, bro. I don't know what's going on up here, but nobody looks they age. Mama Higgins, thank you so much. I'm truly humbled. I went, and, I went to find Jedediah. I'm not saying that because I want clout. I said that because my personal feelings or opinion on any matter will never cloud my judgment on doing the job. Jedediah is there in a capacity that, yeah, we should talk to him and hear what he has to say. doesn't matter if you agree with it or not. You hear it and then you make your own decision. It's not my job to decide for you. Shout out to Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee great comment
man, I love Beth, man. I, bro, no, Beth not only a beautiful sweetheart, Jay Jones a beautiful sweetheart. I need y'all to understand, that's not no fucking ratchet ghetto, bro. That ain't no ratchet ass ghetto, bro. She just make it look like that. She's the only one like that ratchet in all this shit. She's the only one. And some people asked us to do some stuff for them. We doing it. You 50, bro, reality don't look 53, bro. Like, I don't know what's going on up here. Ju, what's happening, cuz? Superstar in the building. And for the record again, I did not announce that we took the food for anything other than transparency purposes with the money that's been raised. That's it. It's not a brag thing. That's not shit I do. Bro. All of these motherfuckers up here look young. Everybody, when they tell me how old they are, I'm like, what? Like, when I was looking at Troy, when I was first talking to him, I'm thinking he was like, I thought he was like a couple years younger than me, at least. And he was like, yeah, I'm 47. And I'm like, what? I stopped the whole conversation. You lying, Don. You a... Bro. I don't know what they eating and drinking up here. I want it. Dawn is not 44. Then now they just making up numbers. Hold on, Mama Hill. Mama Hill, you gonna act like first of all, Mama Hill, I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up tomorrow. I told you we gotta talk. So I'm gonna have to pull up. That's number one. Number two, Mama Hill, Mama Hill gonna come in with the Sunday's best on shut it down, nigga. She gonna come in Sunday's best. I was like, okay, I see this. Y'all don't realize that one whole block be in this chat pretty much every every day. I still can't believe it. <laughs> Unreal. Shout out to the trustees for stepping up in the void of Lacey. Like, again... Like I try to tell y'all, it's like a couple people here acting a fool. It's not the whole, it's not just a, a village full of idiots. No, Tiffany's the village idiot. I need y'all to get it. So, but the way she did it, you know how Tiffany really did it? She's awesome if you get her in a setting of partying. If you want to party and hang out shit, man, she's like the best to hang out with ever. Remember, I told y'all. Her on tour with Beyonce, she would shut all the shit down. We got Burgundy on camera. Jason House rushed off the back. He pulled a Tiffany on us, bro. He pulled nah, on, bro. We got, as a matter of fact, Jason House exposed party tomorrow. This nigga ran out the back on us, bro. Yeah, Jason, Jason House low key sneak this and nigga. Jason 
how steep it is. I know when that camera came on, y'all saw where I was at. I know y'all did not expect me to be where I was at. Nigga, Kiana is juicing, bro. I'm only saying this because I'm quite certain they probably not listening right now because they're on the way to the club. Kiana is juicing. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm media, nigga. That that one that one dude turned and said something to Ed Steve's like, hey, come on, guy. I turned and looked at the nigga, bro. I promise, bro. He's like, man, shut y'all bitch asses up. These niggas was all in the same. Bro, did y'all see the part where they all scooted over? Anybody that was in that meet, did you see the part where the media all together scooted over? That was the way of trying to trying to act like, you know, they was they was trying to that was I promise that was them trying to fuck with Ed Steve. Like, fuck you, nigga. Shit, don't we need it though, Drew? We need it though. Yeah, she's extremely healthy, bro. Mm. Perfect, bro. Wow. It was like a dream. And not like, it was all a dream. No, like. It was like I had a dream where I was recording and met all the people I reported about it, right? Good night, Bob. It was great to see you, brother, man. Damn, Bob, you're going to bed early, ain't you? You said that's me. Man, this is some straight gas, bro. The niggas in Dalton know how to smoke weed. I'll give them that. They know how to smoke. Well, if some niggas on the phone, he just got caught cheating. Damn it. <laughs> hey. And reality, reality TV Chicago, he actually that nigga, bro. The pictures he was showing me in his phone, I was just sitting there like, wait, what? But that's my brother in the Lord for life. That's my brother in the Lord for life. To hear that story, like, yeah, this is what I was on. But this is where I'm at now. Man, that's love, bro. And Long Island Audit. I also want to ask, has anything happened to you since you came up here the last time? He didn't learn any lessons, in my opinion. That's why he came up here and there wasn't no fucking meeting last time. Because he... You know how he knew it was supposed to be? Because he did a fucking Google, Google search. <laughs> When does the village of Dalton? That was the Google search he did. Found out they have them twice a month, but he didn't know that Tiffany has canceled that second one for a fucking year. He didn't know that. So. Clown. I'm like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm pretty, pretty perturbed with that. I ain't gonna front, I ain't gonna hold you. And I ain't gonna make it no thing. It ain't gotta be no thing. There is no thing. But I don't like that shit. She don't like that shit. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, what, what about you? Let me explain something to you, fool. See, here's one thing I've been learning about auditors in a way. Some of y'all don't know the law. Like, y'all know the law, but y'all don't really know process or nothing.
this nigga sitting here. Like, I hear what he's trying to say about Tiffany and whatnot, but my whole thing is this. Like, I hear that nigga, but, um... If you get Tiffany out, bro, everything else falls. <laughs> everything else. There we go. Don't play the floor. It's because I'm stupid. But I get smart over time. Now, I can open the door. Hold on, I'm going to be quiet until I get where I'm not disturbing the house. If I can get the key in the door. I swear this ain't supposed to be this hard, but leave it up to me. I um, appreciate y'all bending that corner. Some of my Chicago family may make an appearance on the stream before I get out of here. You know how that go. Secondly, I want to shout out all the Dalton residents. The number one thing I heard from every you came. You really came. You said you said you was coming. You really came, bro. I said that I. I told you I was shutting it down. A whole municipality, nigga. It's nothing. It's nothing. Ten years ago, I'd have lied straight to you niggas' face. It's ten years in the future, though. We a whole municipality, nigga. <laughs> we a whole village. I had another hoodie, but somebody got it from me. I had another hoodie I was I had I wanna wear. But I let somebody have that shit. Nah man, thank them for letting me come through. As much as they accept me, they could have easily been like, nigga, you smoke too much weed and cuss too much, fuck you. The amount of like senior citizen women that came up to me and said when you be smoking that reefer, I be smoking it with you too. <laughs> I promise you, on everything, <laughs> multiple senior citizen women came up to me and said, "Yeah, when you, when you be smoking that reefer, I be I be smoking it with you." I said, "Well, come on then." I said, "Well, come on then." I fucks with Dalton. I'm not making this up. More than two elderly women came up to me and said that. It's on everything I love. I love it here, bro. I love it here. I love it here. I love it here, bro. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> they just some, they just some everyday folk. Yes, they gonna do some shit to get on your nerves, nigga. 
Yeah, they're going to do some shit to get on your nerves. That's, we humans. We all do stuff that get on somebody's nerves. That's how we built. That's how we wired, bro. But when it's time to help, you going to go help? When a motherfucker's calling out for help, are you going to go help? We had over, we had about 2,000 people in the live night. Spreading a platform that I didn't even know could be a platform to spread. But now that I got it to spread, okay then, fuck it. Yes, I'm getting dressed right now. You see Shay naked now. The chocolate shoulders is out, nigga. We in Chicago, nigga. Chocolate, chocolate shoulders are out in Chicago, nigga. I couldn't take him out in Dalton Lacey cock blocking ass. Whoa, he's looking way too sexy. Pull him over. Now I told you not to make one more outburst, and now all of a sudden you don't have a shirt on. You step out of the car. Why are you breathing like that? Breathing like what? Like a like a fucking fat ass, nigga. That's what. One more outburst. <laughs> One more outburst. Yeah, Gus, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to hit the old hill. I'm gonna go over there and get me 14 blocks. Say peace to your boy. I got some shit I gotta go do. Cummings, Janice, Clee. <laughs> Gus, that's a total setup. I don't want to stop at it. Kendra, Goat, Jackie, Latasha, Tommy. I don't want to stop at that motherfucker. Jay Jones, Miss Marie, Gus. Mrs. Mr. Gus Sparky, awake, blessing. Have fun, Kendra. I can't wait to do it myself. That's how I'll go to sleep. Tiandra, Jazzy, Jay Jones, Brown, Aurelius, Love Locks, Troy, Troy's sister. Y'all never told me your name. You never told me your name. You, Troy, you never, you said it's my sister. If you said it, something after that, I just didn't hear it. Troy's sister, Trina Downs, the chick that was with Trina Downs, she's sexy too, um, her, uh, Ed Steve, Dr. Cloud, Trusty Brown, Trusty Norwood, Trusty House, Trusty Belcher, Clark Key, um, Mary Whitefoot didn't say a damn thing to me. Only thing she said to me is, $400 an hour? I'm the captain now. Oh, it was Regina. That's what it was. Shout out to Regina. Nigga, Regina. I can own, you want to know something when I come back? I'm going to go, I'm going to go over Trina Down house and hang with Trina Downs in Virginia. That seems like a fun time. I'm not fucking playing either, nigga. I'm the captain now. Nigga, they already voted, Omar. It's over. I'm the captain now. Nigga, she was sitting there. She took, bro, and then her, bro, let me say this before I leave. Her, her stud security officer pissed me off. I don't want to be on the camera. Then why the fuck you come stand by me? I'm live, bitch. I just told... Then she lied right to my face. Y'all heard her lie. I said, who... I said, who are you? Because she's just... Nigga, understand. You heard me talking to her. She's right here, nigga. She was right here. That's why I'm just like... So you're not going to introduce yourself or nothing? You think you're just getting ready to stand next to me while I'm recording live? And, and I'm sitting here doing all this talking and you gonna stand next to me and you ain't gonna fucking tell me shit. You got me fucked up. You heard me out. I'm like, so who are you? Uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm with uh, uh, Park Security. Park Security? 
she wasn't stud security. The bitch had a boy's suit on, nigga. That was a boy's suit. <laughs> she had on a boy's suit, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, she was coughing. The mayor gave her her water. Jones, you saw that damn suit. Don't lie. That was that was a boy's large suit. <laughs> I was mad because she go. She shouldn't have lied to me. I was cool till she lied. All she had to say was, "I'm security, for, for I'm, I'm I'm security for the mayor, or I'm security." I saw you walk in with the mayor, bitch. It wasn't like you was some secret. How you? How the fuck you? Some secret service agent standing three feet away from the mayor, bitch. You with the mayor, ho? Just say you security with the mayor. I'm live on the air. I don't know who the fuck you are. I'm damn near a known target around this motherfucker. I don't know you. Tell me who, you nigga. Reality TV Chicago. Did this bitch not squeeze in between us? Me and Reality Check TV Chicago was next to each other. She squeezed in between us. And then, then, he, and then turned around and fucking lied. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck you lying for? Stop lying. Yeah, I'm park security. I work for the, I work for Dalton District. No, you don't, you lying bitch. You just walked in with the mayor, ho. I can't believe, nigga, that shit was wild, nigga. That shit was wild. You should have saw, do you Do you remember, last thing I'm going to say, do you remember the part where I was like, hey, I can just hold the camera up, you know, whenever you're trying to do that. Do you remember when I said that? You know why I said that to that goofy bitch? Because this stupid, stupid bitch is trying to limbo up under my camera. She's trying to go under my camera like this. The bitch was trying to limbo up under the camera, nigga. I just picked the camera. I'm like, just say, can you move the camera? Is it is it possible? She tried to limbo under the camera to get the water from the mayor. I, I, I damn it lost my mind in that motherfucker with her, bro. Everything was cool except the stud security. I, how the stud, how you gonna be a stud and have stud security? <laughs> I'm the captain now. <laughs> How you the stud mayor with stud security? <laughs> I'm done, bro. <laughs> nigga, they got a special stud prostitute. <laughs> special stud prostitute. Y'all on my side hurt now. This is y'all fault I'm cramping, nigga. <laughs> nigga, the stud mayor coming with stud security. <laughs> I was done, nigga. That was it for me. That bitch was all in her earpiece. Yeah, I see him at the back. I see him. And then she was standing there, she was like, so now I'm behind the camera. This bitch is just staring. She's like right here. So this is my face. She's like this. So my face is forward like this. She's like this. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, what? I'm looking at the back. Through me? You're looking at the back through me. Man, me and the stud security almost got into it. Y'all heard it. I saw people, mumbling. who is that? This bitch all up on me. Get up off me with that little boy suit on. That was a gray, that's the gray suit every white boy got when he turned 10 from JCPenney. <laughs> that's the suit she had on. Every... <laughs> Every every white boy when he turned 10 got that suit <laughs> from JC Penny or Sears, the one she had on on everything, nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga. That was <laughs> my side hurt. I'm trying to get off here so I can go, man. If you was there, you saw that stud security, nigga. She nigga had anything popped off, nigga. <laughs> she was just shooting niggas. That's the other thing. She all jittery and extra nervous. And I'm like, I know you got that thing on you. You here with the mayor, not Dalton. This bitch said, yeah, I'm Dalton Park. I mean, yeah, I went to Dalton Park District. No, you not. You lying, ho. I don't want to be on camera. Okay, leave. <laughs> this bitch, start, bro, I almost had the First Amendment audit. The motherfucking stud security, nigga. I don't want to be on camera. I don't give a fuck. You in the room, nigga. Next to me, I had the weakest camera of everybody else at the front. 
I had the weakest fucking camera. I had the weakest camera, the smallest audience. She gonna come stand next to me and trying to lay down foundation. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Yeah, she had that pow pow on her. I already know she was ready. Code eleven. Yep, I'm in the village. Yep, I'm in the village. It's all niggers. I'm shooting them. And then Long Island gonna be like, you know what, everybody? Fuck the police. The police ain't shit. Them are some bitch ass niggas. See y'all. This nigga, this nigga full on dissed the police and tried to get smart with Trusty Belcher when he was walking off. This nigga, this nigga got smart. This nigga got smart with Trusty Belcher walking the fuck off and then just left. And then if Lacey would have came in there with the goons, he's long gone. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Go back and watch that stud security.